stamps, red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Chanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art stamp and paper craft show. And we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 3rd of May. Stamparama brings together the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. You'll find us in Hall 2 at the Yorkshire Event Centre, located within the great Yorkshire showground, Harrogate. Advanced ticket holders receive an early show entry from 9.30am, allowing you extra time to browse before the show opens at 10am. There'll be free demonstrations, make and takes, and also a refreshment area where you can take the weight off your feet after all that shopping. Tickets are available from Hochanda in advance for only £3 each. So what are you waiting for? Treat yourself to a fantastic, crafty day out. Order your tickets today from Hochanda.com. Hello, a very good morning to you. Happy Monday. We're here. It's the start of the week. We have got a wonderful week for you. So many big launches, including Liberty tonight, but plenty, of course, of deals on this fabulous show. We'll see you in a minute. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you as well. How are you this morning? How are you? I'm very well, but I'm slightly perturbed, Janice, because mm. I just saw you um, listening to a piece of card. Wow. Well, what were you doing? Well, the thing is, I was thinking to myself, how can you tell whether card is good quality or not? So I lifted it to my ear and try this when you get it home. Um, have it like in a, in a, <laughs> in a semicircle and just go... I and it will sound... And she was doing that. It will sound like horses galloping by. Hold it. Hold it up to your ear. We'll Try this at home. very random this week. Ready? Sounds like horses galloping by. And if you get that, it's good quality card. Don't believe anything I say. It's early in the morning and it's a Monday. Okay. But give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. And let me know how it, you get on. <laughs> <laughs> If it's only galloping horses oh, yes. going through. I was transported for a second there into a lovely Were you? sort of, yeah. Do you see? You know, do you see what your field. cardstock can do for you? That's, That's why a different world. we've got a great deal of the date. We've already mm. been busy for this as well, Rachel. Yes, we certainly have. Mm. Yes. Um, now, these are, well, first of all, we've got the cardstock. Uh, That's the first thing to say. But these inks are very interesting because they are heat activated. Yes, they are. So, you've got lots of opportunities to use these um, on fabric, for example. Uh, if you use it on fabric and you use a heat to set it that yes. will set the ink for you yes. and you can also use it with your embossing yes enamel. yes with your embossing enamel mm -hmm. because of course that gives it the color and because you have to heat the embossing mm -hmm. then that works very well and you need the right dye to do that to react to heat yes um, so you could use it on a whole variety of surfaces, I'm thinking, as well. We've obviously given you some card for you to play with there. You've got some good colours in there. Yeah, with, with nice colours. Yeah, with that, um, the yellow, the blue, and is it a red or like an orange? Uh, and the other set as well, I think you'll be able to do some really nice, grungy, vintage style uh, pieces. Yes, you certainly will mm. for a lower price, of course, because it is twenty-four thirty-eight instead of nearly fifty pounds. It's heading that way. However, it is the deal of the day, and that means that we have launched it right now, and it will finish in twenty-four hours. Tomorrow morning, there will be a fresh, fabulous new deal of the day. Do you know something? I can't hear our lovely producer. Can, can you, you not? No, I can. She sounds like she's in a wind tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
that's so much better. She's just actually turned her microphone on. Well, the thing is, a wind tunnel is something quite different. That's if you get two sheets of the card and then place them around and then I blow. That would be a wind tunnel effect that Thank you could you, make Janice. with your card. You uh, have hidden talents. I know. Uh, super smooth card as well, mm -hmm. so it's beautiful for stamping, mm -hmm. uh, giving you great results each and every time. So you get 20 pieces in total because you get 10 sheets of the card. You also get a mister, yes. you get a glue stick, yes. and you also get your glue seal just there. Mm. Uh, so, very, very handy for building and creating. You can use these all together or you can use them separately, but we've put all these together as a great deal for you. 203 115 is your item number. It is a deal of the day. It's supposed to last all the way through until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Stock dependent, though, it might sell out before. We've it been very do. busy. I think with a range of colours like that, and they're quite different, and then to give you the whole package as well. Very good. 203 115, as Janice says, is your item number. They're calling it stamping paper, but it's actually thicker. We think you could use it for a variety of things, but it's certainly super smooth. Mm. A bit like Janice. She's super smooth, don't you know? As are our deals this morning. Uh, we're already busy for the sunrise specials this morning. That's why we're having a little bit of a jig, a little bit of a dance. Always good to get uh, the blood flowing around your body, I think. It is good to mm. get the blood flowing. Because, you know, the older you get, the harder that gets. What are you saying? I'm only 22 years old. Well, look at my hands. Look how shriveled up they are. That's because I'm cold. <laughs> no, it's because you're get... constantly using hand sanitizer, oh, as well, we true. all are at the moment. True, true. Yes. But, no, I do have the um, tingling fingers in the morning. I am learning so much about you on this morning. Show. Tingling fingers. Tingling fingers. And uh, you do sound effects with card. Yes, I certainly do. And there's so much more as to yet to come. I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, a third of the stock has already gone of your sweet poppy stencils. Nine ninety nine, saving eight pounds. Uh, some really nice images here because, of course, using these on repeat, you'll be able to make some great backgrounds. You may have to make some great cards, mixed media projects, and um, because these are made of metal, they're going to give you great results each and every time with your paste. Do you know? Do you know? I'm a fan of the texture paste. Are you? Yes, I am. I, there's something about. What kind of texture do you like to use? <laughs> paste <laughs> well it's not it's not it's not the texture do of you like the to paste. have balls in your paste do you yeah. like to have sand in your paste do you like to add those little uh little embellishments what kind of paste do you like Rachel? yeah you carry on Janice there you carry on <laughs> you're in a world of your own oh, I like the sandy style scrapey paste yes well that's what I like ah. I look what I like about it is when they um you put it on top you slide over the knife, yes. you take off this stencil, and then you have this amazing textured pattern left. I just find it quite fascinating every time. And do you know what? Quite satisfying yes. as well. That's because, probably a better word. Yes. I wouldn't say it was fascinating. Well, it kind of is. It kind of, the first time you see it, mm. it is fascinating. Um, but we're very busy for these. Half the stock has gone. Will they be here the next time we come down the counter? I don't know. Uh, 450. 741 is your item number and you do get both of them. It's one of life's big questions. Will they be here? Will they be here, Janice? Will they be here? I don't Will know. they uh, be here? Same thing to do if you want them is get hold of them right now. 450741. 1799 normally, down to under a tenner. Under ten pounds. Mm. My mm. good. I don't think you can get fish and chips mm. supper for under ten pounds now, can you? No, we were going to have that last night, but we went out instead. Did you? We did. We went to... Uh, do you know what I did? Oh... Do you know, this is frustrating. I might have to drop, drop a line to the manager. I had a voucher for 30% off and I forgot. So I went straight oh. back in to the restaurant and I said, I've got this voucher, can I just refund? And she won't do it. No, they're and not I, going to do that. Why? Because they have to put it through their till with a special code. Yeah, but she could have refunded her from the receipt and but then, then the, put the code in. Yeah, but then they need a reason for a refund and that would have blamed the chef. Just my sad then... little face was a reason. Please, I'm saving 20 pounds, please. <laughs> Oh, Rachel. Anyway, I was just going to show that on my head, but you can't see because I've got black hair. But, look, can you see a little head? You could do little headbands with this, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that'd be nice. If you put them the other way as well, they look like love hearts. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or a crown. Or a crown, mm. yes. Mm. Uh, you've got four reels. You've got the gold. You've got the two in the cream, or is it white and ivory? <laughs> white and ivory. Uh, you've got the black, and you've got the gold as well. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? They are. I'm so, oh, I'm just. I'm quite pleased about our director there, Jimmy. Bless his little cotton socks. You know, the reason I was sort of crouching was because yeah. we were on a shot like that, and I thought, <clears> if I put my head up now, we're going to get a really close-up view of this. And I thought, no, let's not frighten people. Let's not frighten people first thing yeah, in the Yeah, it's enough for me to have to do the whole hour. Camera. <laughs> um, now, you get 10 metres on each roll, and the actual width of it is 15 mils. So, uh, really good size, actually. Cut into this, make your embellishments, maybe um, add a little bit of colour if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, you could have a gold one, then you could colour every other one, for example. Saving £18, it's a great deal at £17.14. Pence. Yeah, you've got these um, lovely, I mean, that's a sort of a champagne. If you put that next to the, I don't know if you can see the slight difference, but you ha it's champagne and white, yes. I would say. Just like or a, ivory, isn't it? Maybe, yeah, an yeah. ivory and white. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. I don't, you, you probably just can't quite It's very see. subtle. It is very subtle. In real life, it's more obvious than yes. that. Um, but yeah, as you say, you could cut into those. You could just use, the, you could just use one on the card. Can you imagine how long this is going to last you but if you wanted to wrap a gift up nice put on headbands now i've noticed clothing. that on some of them yes but um, bits in the love hearts are still in there yes. so oh sorry um you can pop that little love heart out and you can use it separately Aww. so yeah that's nice isn't I it i think that's really nice stuff to have should be nearly 36 pounds but 17 pounds and 14 pence 613227 do remember that these prices are only here until the end of the hour so make sure you grab them before you i've got an update Go on, on the sweet poppy stencils mm -hmm. they're limited stock they already? might not be here the next time we come down the counter limited stock already would you believe it we've sold out well so that's that. Oh, they have gone now. Packed oh. up and oh. gone. See, they were fascinating. Yeah. First sold out. They were. First sold out of the day. First sell out of the day. First sell out of the day. Not first sold out of the day. No. Sell out of the day. Mm -hmm. Not sold out. Mm -hmm. Now, we have some lovely ivory thread for you here. A thousand yards here um, for £10.99. A thousand yards on each foot. What? A thousand yards. Oh my gosh, a ten thousand. Yes. It's a ma it's a marathon of uh, threads, uh, but this is comes to you from uh, coats. Well, ten thousand isn't that half a marathon? I have no idea. No, don't. What well. yards? Google it. Other search engines are available. How many yards in a marathon? How many yards <laughs> in a marathon? The, what searches are available? Okay. Do you remember Ask Jeeves? Yeah, I what do. What happened to Ask Jeeves? Well, he didn't know the answer to everything no. clearly. Such a good idea, though. It was. Mm. Uh, right. Let's put that down there. I'll just show you the box closed. No, I'm only kidding. I was going to say, what are you doing? Uh, right, in metres, you've yeah. got... Are we still trying to work out the marathon? Sorry, yes. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, yards, you've got a thousand yards on each. Um, but more importantly, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to find out what it is in metres. Uh, but more importantly, you've got that great, strong thread to use. And all the same colour, so it's your staple, isn't it? I'm just looking at that colour, you know. Um, by the way, a thousand yards, we've been told, is 914 or 40. 14 metres. Uh, yeah. How many metres in a mile? 1,500. Right. Yes. So. so, a marathon is 26 miles, right? Yes. What did we just say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now totally lost. I can't remember. Oh, I, I don't As you know. can see, I you get know. a lot of yarn, and I'm going it's to take it out of the box because every I time I pick this up, it's going to fall everywhere, and I don't want that to happen for you, lovely people. I would people say that is an antique white, by oh. the way. Would yes. you? Oh, oh seriously, Janice. seriously. Anybody would think I don't do this for a living. No. It's an all-purpose thread, by yes. the way. Yes. Hand sewing, sewing machine. And overlocking. Over, yeah, it's mm. it's a great staple to have. And the Look thing is, beautiful curve. you're saving ten pounds, ten ninety nine. It's a great deal. It works out to be just over about a pound five p, seven p, something like that per reel. And it's something that you would use all the time. Well, a lot, wouldn't you? Because it's one of your basic colours. I mean, I would say black and white. It's black and white, yes, is what you need. And with this being a nice vintage white, yeah, um, yeah. 
go even further. Yeah, grab grab. One eight one two zero three is your item number for ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Right, we've got the yarn balls. Yarn um, balls. I, I love this colour. Oh, it's it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely divine. Let's look at washing instruction again. We always do this, don't we? Yes. Uh, um, right. Hand wash thirty degrees. But we were saying that was very hot for hands. Um, but but it, it, it does show a hand in a bus a basket. Well, <laughs> is. Is, the, is that hand wash or is that wash? Yeah, exactly. Don't or know. is there another sign for a washing machine at 30 degrees? I, I don't, don't know. know. We have this debate every time. I don't know. I don't know how hot 30 degrees is. It I've feels, never put my hand in at 30 I think degrees. It's quite hot. We don't advise it. You don't do that. Don't advise it. No. Don't try it. Um, but anyway, but, um, hand wash, mm, I would say. I would say hand wash. Uh, but it is a beautiful colour. It really is. And you also have on here, it's colour number 10, in case you do collect this particular yarn ball from Debbie Bliss it's color number 10 and 473 is the dye lot and they're all the same which is superb it's like uh, paint you have to make sure that when you're buying your yarn it all comes from the same batch because you don't want it to be variants mm. lovely though isn't it it mm. feels beautiful it's a lovely rich color uh, and uh, you're getting six balls there in total. Should be nearly fifty pounds going that way, but it's under twenty today. So that is very good indeed. Nineteen pounds and seventy pence. Seven one nine three six seven is your item number. Lovely. Well, just go on the website, hochamba.com, get your bargains. Make sure you do it in the next forty-five minutes to get those prices because they will disappear by the end of the hour, or maybe just disappear like our fantastic. Uh, stencils did. Can't yeah, believe they went sweet so poppy quickly. sold out this morning. That was our that first was a very sellout. Good deal. Um, mm. Now I think something else that might sell out this morning is your Zutter bind it all. Uh, you get everything in the kit to build and create that fantastic binder. It's almost like um, do you remember the ring decks where yes. you used to go through yes. uh, and have a look at all your different contacts? Well, you've got everything you need, including the index cards. Uh, you get the wooden base and the spine to it as well. Base. It's all about the base. And you also get the embellishments as well, which is great. So when it is made up, you can then start to add all of your embellishments that you've got with this, uh, including your tape, you've got tassels, you've got your gilding flakes in there, you've got your um, foam tabs just there. So that is your... There you go. Gilding flakes. Your gilding flakes just there which look gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, you've also got some, now, are they, now that is like big bits of glitter. I won't open it because it will go everywhere. everywhere. But that's going to give you a little bit of texture if you want to add that to your paste Absolutely. or to your um, cards. Then you've got some of these, uh, yeah. sort of for the edging, or you can cut them up of course if you want, but some lovely sort of strips of paper there with love hearts and things. These look quite nice as well. I'm just wondering if they are are they ribbons or I'm not sure actually. Yeah, I think they're ribbons. Yes, they are. They are. It is. It is metal they're metallic. Ribbon. Mm. Metallic ribbons. They're yeah, very nice. Ribbon. Um, oh, you've got a yard in each pack. That's very good. I do like these as well. Mm. Um, now, these frames can be used, of course, with your Zutter what, uh, pages. Yes. I totally lost words there. Eh? Uh, yes. It's your pages because let me just pick that up there. You get um, enough start to build and create but all you need is the glue and your embellishments to start making of course your pages look absolutely fantastic it could be a memory it could be a memory it could be things that you need to do it could be recipes the choice of course is entirely yours but how much of the stock has gone a quarter, a quarter of the stock You've got your has gone tool as well. already. So that's quite good isn't it so mm. I guess you put your bits and pieces onto this pad and then you've got your little tool that you can push through so that's good that, that's a really good um, a good bargain there, isn't it? For £24, should be £50. I'm not surprised. I don't know. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you get 40 of the cardstock pages, 40 of those pages. Yeah. So it's great that you're getting all of those embellishments with them. You also get 10 of the dividers as well. So that's a great deal to make that nice and full. You can always buy some more of the dividers and the pages as well yeah. to stock up. Yep, to uh, fatten it up. To fatten it up. Uh, 699376 is your item number if you would like to get hold of that particular deal. Right, let's move on now to some essential lovely paper. Uh, you've got your smaller cuts here if you have a look at those. And these are all in beautiful colours. And look at that sheen. It's shiny. 
Uh, it's a good sheen. Yeah, it really yeah. is. You've got the Hochanda pink there. You've got a variant of colours here. So you've got your green, your turquoise, you've got brown, you've got ivory in there. Really nice. I think these would make a great inlay to a card mm. if you were to fold these over and then pop them inside, which would look gorgeous. Yep. You can also use them for your die cutting. We've then got your A4 paper, which, again, has that lovely shimmer to it. You can see that. Beautiful. Um, now... It is quite heavyweight. I would say, I would say I about guess. 170. Something like that. It's definitely under 200. Yeah, it's definitely under 200. I think it'd be about 170, mm. but don't quote me on that one. You also get this great stamp as well. Uh, friends are precious gifts to treasure, treasure forever. forever. What, what did I say earlier? What did you say this morning? You said, you said... Friends are precious gifts to... What did you say? What was the word? Because it was really weird. Oh, no, I it was. Yes, I, I can't remember either. It, um, wasn't, it wasn't treasure. It was... Um, um, it was to... Um, oh, it was something to do with selling or something. Yeah. It was some weird word. And I went, what? Yeah. That, what? Well, that's me first thing in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I've only had one coffee. Uh, but it's a lovely stamp. You've got those two ladies there dancing away. And you've also got the frames as well so use them together or you can use them separately so that's a great value that you're getting there saving 15 pounds it's just nine pounds and 49 pence 168 pieces uh, because of all the uh, paper stock you've got I've got to say as well under a tenner that stamp would be about 12 13 pounds I think it's it massive. would massive yeah so it's 949 for the stamp and the other bits and pieces very no, good 937948 is your item number if you want to go for that one a good way of stocking up uh, the next item this is my favorite one of the show do you know something I had a look last night as to what we were going to have this morning yes. and me too yeah Saw this, I love it was fabulous. These. Um, I was having a chat with my husband yesterday um, and we we're talking about because we're in a company together and I was saying to him you know he's going oh this week I've got to do blah 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 and I was like well I've got to do blah blah and I said on the Monday we should sit down and actually write notes yes. because you have all these things in your head you never know what you're doing and I love these I love the fact that you can plan your days get your ideas in there um, but also you can put all of your appointments and family things and birthdays in there I just love it or you could just use it to just write your thoughts or write positive affirmations yeah use it for whatever. journaling yeah. yeah i like the design of this on the front you've got those areas there where you can actually write titles that correspond to the different colors that are in the book at the side there yeah. i like the way that you've got that area just to pop your thumb in there so you can start flicking through the pages really easily yeah. um, and again yeah you've got the opportunity to use these for your business for your books or for journaling entirely up to you but you get two of the smaller ones the a5 and two of the larger ones the b5 in size and what's great as well is that you can just write your date in there um so it's it's not like um what I'm, it's not like a, a, a weekly thing what i'm saying is say for example if you look at this with those color coordinations if you want to write in you know birthdays gift to buy you could do it in your yellow section yeah, you can. if you want to write in um appointments you could put it in your gray if you want to write in you know projects you want to do put so whenever you think right what projects do i have to do okay go to the green section whose birthday is it let's go to the yellow section and then you could write the date in the top so yeah, you i can. think they're really well designed yeah they are and again that's where those areas at the front correspond it's a fabulous set for ten pounds and 49 pence you get the whole and lot. That, you get the whole lot you get all four so you're wow. saving Eleven pounds and thirty-one pence for twenty-one pounds and eighty pence. Yeah. I would think that was a great deal. It's brilliant. But it gets even better this morning at ten forty-nine. That is fabulous. Yeah, that is fantastic. Um, Eight nine five four zero oh, six. I want to get that, but I'm not sure if it'll last to the end of the hour. Eight nine five four zero oh, six. The prices mm. are for this hour That's and this right. hour only. So uh, you need to get hold of these so before the top be of the hour. So you won't be able unless we let you go early. We'll wow. see. We'll see. Yeah. Now, well, talking about going early, talking about going yes. on the go with your lovely bag. Yeah, taking Ooh. all your craft stash with you. Shall we place it just Shall on we? the lower table there? Yeah. Um, I love this bag, Rachel, because there's so much to it. And you have to open it up to discover. So first of all, oh, yeah. let's open up the top part. Yeah. Maybe you've got your glass mat going out with you. Maybe you've got some um, writing books. Yes. This is a really oh, nice area clever. to place that. So yep. you've just got the little deep insert there. That Pens. could be for your glass mat, which or is perfect. Pens or painting brushes. Well. Pens or painting brushes, which is great. The next zip, again, all double zips. So what you've got yep. now is the opportunity to lock. Yes. Which is fabulous. So then you've got an area here. You can put your little card in the top to yes. say who it belongs to. 
we take can take that, that out. out so you can divide that however you want to. Does that have a pocket to. on it? The yes, front. it does. Yep. So that's got a pocket. So that can go out with you. That could be a little folder pocket. Yeah. Uh, plenty of room inside as well. Um, and you've got easy access with the zips at the side yep. if you want to go yeah. inside. Let's just tilt that. I'll show you how much space. I mean, there's easy space for a, a sewing machine in there. Yeah, there certainly is. Now, you've got your zips at each side because that means you could take the lining out if you want to or just take it out from the inside if you wish or yeah. use them as secret pockets. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you've got wherever, that pocket there. Put that wherever you want. Which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got the pocket at the front. Again, double zip so you can lock it. You've got the pocket at the side. Uh, which is just your hook and loop and then a pocket around the other side as well. So plenty of storage. That's really good. And you've got, if I lift this up, you've the got wheels. the double wheels as well. Yeah. So you've got stability, which is important. Yeah. And the telescopic handle. Yeah. Can I just, can I, I know we can't see it, but I just want to see how it feels when you are, oh, as you see, that's it's good, that's easily, but also that bit, I was doing that, so, you know when you get these bags sometimes, you're yes. like, <laughs> no, that's really quite easy. And you don't have to do sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should. I'm off now. Uh, but I think it suits you, Rach. I think it suits you. Yes. And I think it will suit you as well. Well, not me. Um, the bag uh, <laughs> really suits Rachel. And it'll suit you as well. Yep. It's handy, isn't it, to have everything together. It means that if you want to go off for a weekend, you can use it as a weekend bag. Yes. Or you can use it within your homes to store all your crafty goodies in. Two can payments I say of £40. Else pounds. As well? Of course you can. I was just thinking a lot of these bags quite often are big flower patterns, quite colourful, quite mm. girly. This is great because. If you are, you know, man and woman living in household and you would both like to share the bag, you could. So, you know, one of you's taken out whatever it is. The other one's taken out whatever it is. You can you both use the bag. Yeah, you can. I just think it's stylish, yeah, isn't it? It, it is. really is. Yeah. Nice stylish. Probably not great for television with those stripes, no. but it is a great looking bag. Uh, 436 929 your item number available on FlexiBuy. Two payments of 40 pounds and you're saving 20 pounds on that deal uh, if you want to get hold of any of the sunrise specials they are only available they are only available up until eight o'clock today yes they certainly so are. that means rachel needs to hurry up at the end of the show run upstairs and place her order I might just in. Leave now now might the just leave zutter now. is limited stock yeah oh Zutter is wow. limited busy show. Busy show. Yeah, we are having a busy show this morning. Uh, do give yourself time, though, to have a look on the website or give us a call to make sure you get your orders in. It's great to have your company this morning, and you are watching Good Morning Hachanda. And a good morning to Wendy. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine, thank you. I've yes. seen you for ages. No, we've done our Christmas show in October, our last one, and we've not been on since It was, since wasn't then. it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> I'm really excited about the show today. I've seen the stamps, I've seen the samples, and we're going to give you a little taste now of what's to come at 8 o'clock. Um, these are absolutely delightful, oh, Wendy. You. They really are. Uh, can we show the actual sets of stamps that you're getting, and then yep. we'll run through the samples? This is not samples. all of them, by the way. This is just a few yeah. that I've picked up just on the way Just give you a taste There are lots and lots and lots of stamps right tell you what i'll hold those two you hold that one yeah. there and there'll be a reason why wendy's holding that particular one and if you know me <laughs> you'll understand why uh <laughs> let's start with these lovely stamps here and the lovely woodland animals that you've got they're beautiful they and are. the thing i like about this as most of our customers already know that they're usable all through the year yeah so they can do some lovely christmas cards with these as well do you know what i like about them as well i go for walks in the countryside a lot and i love taking pictures and i just love that i love that crooked fence with the barbed wire i like that the broken i like yeah. things that are not quite perfect yeah me too me too. Really like that. So you've got the lovely two sets of stamps here. You've got uh, the gorgeous animals. Uh, you've got the tree trunk there, which adds interest. You've also got the birds as well. And the one that you've got, of course, have got the, the insects yeah, on. Yeah, the beautiful wildflowers on there. We'll talk about the flowers. Yes, talk about the flowers. <laughs> talk about the flowers. Yeah, so they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's take you through some of the samples here, because there's something else on the samples as well that we've got in the show, and that's the actual there's, area around yeah, these so images the you're seeing. Stencils which are absolutely beautiful and the, you can use them in quite a few different ways as well so you can do layering and things like yeah. that without the need for cutting and layering so it Fantastic. makes life a lot easier so you're saving on your card definitely yeah just using your inks uh, you've also got some great sentiments available on the show as well if the path be beautiful let us not ask where it leads i love sentiments yeah i like things because you can still say happy birthday inside of that of course but i don't like to, to be too specific when it comes to greetings i mean look at that isn't that a lovely image with the flowers in there 
there. You've got the tree, you've got the mice. There could be rats, could be field mice. It doesn't matter really, does it? <laughs> no, they're still cute. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Oh, and look at that. And we've got the little spring deers as well. So again, when Christmas comes, you can still use those at Christmas. Oh, aren't they lovely? Well. And you can build some really beautiful scenes, can't it's you? It's the kind of thing you have to keep looking at because there's a little winter one. You can sort of sneak little things in. So we've got the little um, extra special, the eggs. So you can, if you want to do like a little Easter egg, egg hunt, you can pop those yeah. into the scene as well. So you could do a lot of different things. I really like them. what you've done with this as well. You've used those midnight colours, haven't you? Beautiful colours, are But they? still using the white space yeah. on the card. I do like white space. It's something yeah. not to be frightened of, really, I think. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our our heads pretty. that is that is so true so pretty so beautiful lots more samples to show you in the show um, all you have to do is head to the website have a look at the stamps and the stencils that are available to you and you can start adding your order you see see that broken fence it looks fabulous, doesn't it? And it's lovely, isn't it? Summer or winter, it doesn't yeah. matter what year. You now, do what can it. we expect to see in the show, um, Wendy? Well, we're using uh, at least three of the stencils in the first show and uh, probably two or three in the second show as well. So you get to see how versatile those are. Um, but also pretty much something from all of the stamp collections Super. that we're doing. So we're together at 8 o'clock this morning. And you've got another show today at... at 1. Is it what? 12? 12. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock <laughs> so today. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just uh, ask my guests in the morning so I know what the day entails. Absolutely stunning, beautiful cards that you can make too. Do join us at 8 o'clock this morning for cardio. Do join us this morning at 8 o'clock for Wendy and the great demonstrations we've got coming up. Now you can see the collection online. This is where I do recommend you go to. So you can have a look at all the elements available to you. The complete collection is available, also available separately as well. Um, and check out those stencils, um, which will be amazing. Amazing. Oh, and also the majestic rods as well, because they are perfect for stamping. Um, and they're really good, actually, because you've got quite a bit of length in there, which enables you to put the smaller stamps into the exact placement uh, that you want them. So very, very good. And, well, they've got five-star reviews, so don't trust me. Trust what everyone else is saying out there. Uh, your Freedom Membership, that's also there as well. If you want to become a Freedom Member, it means all your PMP is included. Right, so that's coming up at 8 o'clock today and 12 o'clock. But let's come back to Good Morning Ho Chan and have a look at the deal of the day. Wow, we're approaching half past the hour. Goes so quickly this I show, know. I find. Zooms Goes by. really quickly. Uh, I think this is a brilliant set. If you're into your mixed media, yes. this is fantastic because these are inks that work with heat and they would work beautifully in terms of mixing them with things because you've got a great range of colours. I'm thinking the colours would also mix together as yeah, well. Yeah, they certainly would. Yeah, you've got mm. some great... I think the colours of the inks that you've got right here do lend themselves that vintage look, but you're quite right. You can mix them together. You've got some blue in there, some yellow, of course. I don't need to tell you that. You can make green. Uh, you've got two sets of the inks right there, but yeah, again, perfect for your vintage designs. And you can also mix them up as well and uh, give you a chance to mix these with other mediums as well. I wonder if you put some sort of crackle paste in there. That would be quite nice. You know what I mean? Ooh. I wonder if you could. I wonder if you. I don't know. I'm just wondering if you come thinking outside the box a bit. I don't but see why could, not yeah. because they are an ink. Mm, and if you're going to use your colours. crackle paste with a bit of heat, yeah. then they are heat reactive. Yes. Very good idea. Mm. Very good idea. Mm. I like that. Uh, you've also got your blender as well. You've got the two sponges on there so you can mix and match or just use one. And then when you've used that enough, you've got another one in there. So that's great. You can buy replacements as well. The most important part is the top block just there. You've got this super smooth, very smooth. beautiful, super smooth uh, card in here. Um, and again, that is perfect for stamping on, for getting those crisp images. It's beautiful. So you get 10 of those, and you've also got some items on that side as well, right? Yeah, should we have a look at what they are? Uh, so first of all, on this one, you have got your glue stick. So if you are wanting to do, um, as we were saying, a bit of mixed media stuff, you could just use a bit of glue there. Uh, this is your mister. So uh, I'm guessing you could put your inks in there and then just, yes, yeah, spray to get a lovely sort of misty effect. Um, and then this one, is this a glue as well? I've forgotten. Glue and seal. What does glue and seal do then? Oh, it's like a gloss finish. Yeah. Ah. It's got a built-in brush. Yeah, I wonder. Can I just take yeah, this? It. I wonder if I can open this. I probably need... Let's get me... No, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to get my teeth around it. You've got to be careful, haven't you? Um, I probably need uh, a 
pair of scissors or a, or just a nail. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I'm there. Okay. Right. Right. So you've got your brush inside there, which is brilliant. Oh. And that brush, of course, once it's there, it means you don't have another brush to go and get to find to actually use that, which is perfect, uh, which is great. So your brush, yes, is definitely inside there. Fabulous. Well, if you want to get hold of all of that, don't forget it is our deal of the day. The price will go up tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock if it has not gone already. Of course, the of deal course of the day. Sell. Yeah, they certainly do. They sell out. Yes. Um, and you're saving... £23 on that particular deal, which is uh, oh, well, a great is, saving. That is a brilliant saving, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, pick up the phone, give us a call, or go on to the website. But a quick reminder of this, because this is disappearing very quickly indeed. should be £50, down to £24 today. 699376 is your item number. If you want to be able to get hold of this fantastic spinner album set with embellishments, your rivet hole punch, lots of tools, approximately 75 pieces. It's a really fabulous kit, that, because you can make a great... Um, sort of Rolodex style thing, couldn't you? But you could put pictures in there, you could do whatever you wanted. So that is 699376, but that price going back up to £50 in 28 minutes. Don't forget, on this show, you always get fabulous sunrise specials. Got something for everyone on this show today. Yeah, I've got something for everyone, mm. I think. Yes. If you like to organise, if you like to journal, if you like to stamp, if you like to sew, if you like to crochet, if you like to knit, we've got something for everyone. We certainly do. Mm. Um, this is great, I think, because £17 and 14 pence is what you're paying instead of nearly £36. And this, if you think about it, is going to go an awful long way. Uh, Janice was saying you could cut up the little hearts individually. You could use them on your paper crafting. You could, of course, use them around hems or headbands or sleeves or wherever you want to use them. You could sew with them. But they're, they're fabulous, aren't they? Yeah, they really nice are. Colours. Um, again, if you want to put these on your mixed media projects, you can do. You can colour them if you wish. Sew them. Um, as a trim on a cushion yeah. uh, on a design yeah round sleeves I think is beautiful you can even make some nice little bracelets with these as well why not um, um, lots of different crafts that you can use these in and you've got the four different colors so you've got the gold you've got the black and these two are your cream and your ivory and we can tell the difference here not so much coming over on the camera yeah, but, but there is camera. but there is a mm. there is there is a difference between the two um, it's very subtle but there is a difference between the two probably just our cameras can't get that yeah. maybe and sorry I was gonna say and you were saying about the little hearts that some of these have yes. the hearts in there so you could just use the hearts by themselves and they pop out really easily, uh, which is fantastic. So, oh, yes, you can. Oh, where are we? You dropped oh. my heart. Oh, I'm sorry. You broke my heart. Oh, I, no, I've not, I've not broken it. It's still very much intact. There you go. There's oh, three no, hearts together. together. There you go. Um, I think it's a great set. 10 metres on each, just £17 and 14 pence. An absolute bargain. It is an absolute bargain, so grab that one while you can. It's just one of those things that's just very useful. Uh, talking about useful threads, we were saying this is more like an antique white, uh, but it's a 1,000 yards on each of those rolls there, so 10,000 yards of white um, thread. Thread, that's what I couldn't find it. <laughs> couldn't find it. I was searching in my head. I was thinking... I was thinking uh, wool, no. I was thinking of string, no. Couldn't think by the word. Couldn't find the word. Threads. Even though it's there on the screen. Uh, ivory colour as well. Like you say, Rachel, um, this is a really nice vintage style yes. thread. So if you've got any of your Tilly designs that you're putting together with your lace and your fabrics, I think this would be beautiful. If you want to do any, well, it's ivory, but if you wanted to do your white work mm. on your quilts, mm -hmm. then this would be perfect for that. But just for overlocking as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's this is like one. I always equate this kind of thing to washing powder. Bear with me, Janice. Bear Go with on. me. Well, when you see washing powder on sale yes. in the supermarket, yes. you might have two bottles at home. You buy it because yes. you know you're gonna use your washing powder. Yes. So if you are a sewer, buy this because this is ten pounds and ninety nine pence. It's one of those things that you need. Why buy it at full price? You might have some of this already at home. You might not think at the moment how you're going to use it, but if you are a sewer, 
you're definitely going to use this at some point. Yeah, you certainly you know, are. It's not off-white. And saving £10, what a great deal. Yeah. In fact, if you normally buy it at twenty ninety nine, you could go for two if you wanted to. You could. Because uh, it's a, well, a half-price deal, isn't yes, it? Yes, it, it is. One eight one two zero three is your item number if you want to pop that into your basket and check on out. Remember, these prices are only for this hour and this hour only. You can head to the website to see all the items available for you. Yeah. Hochanda.com is where you can go. Um, by the way, we also have other things on that website as well that you might be interested in, including tickets to the Creative Craft Show. Uh, but we are also have seven-day savers on there. Now, there's quite a few. We never have just one. We have a few seven-day savers, so always check them out. They last for, as the title suggests, seven days, and then the prices go back up, and they're launched on Sundays as well. Ooh, Freedom Members Club. That's a great little club to be part of as well. So do have a look on the website, won't you? Hochanda. Com. Right, let's talk about Seven Day Savers. Launched on a Sunday at 8 a.m. Yes, as the name suggests, they're supposed to last seven days, but some don't because it's stock dependent. Uh, so we've got some handmade paper for you, and we've got some great designs and samples uh, that have been made up from that handmade paper. Yes. Um, now colours will vary, you get 30 sheets in total but we've got two samples here of what you can make and create with your handheld paper, uh, handmade paper rather and with the paper you get some lovely designs, really really pretty um, and of course with it being handmade it's a little bit of a story to tell isn't it? Yes, I think it's always nice when it's handmade because, it, as well, it makes it quite unique. Yes. Um, you don't feel like everybody else is going to have the same papers as you, so I think that's uh, quite nice. But what's great about this selection is they are all totally different. As we've said, you will get a random selection. But, you know, you look at some, I mean, look at that. They, they feel interesting as well, like that. You know when you get sort of foiled cards, they can, you know, it's quite difficult to work with them? This, look at that. It's beautiful because... And it does feel like a handmade. It feels like a sort of mulberry silk mm, or something. It, it almost feels like it's a fabric. It does almost feel like a fabric, um, yeah. I mean, look at that one there, again, mm. with the design that you've got there with the gold, that yes, lovely beautiful. paisley. And even, if I turn that over, even on the reverse, it looks fantastic. I wonder if you were to get your inks or your alcohol markers on there, I wonder if it will act as a resist. Yeah. And how different that would look Maybe when so. you're using your different mediums. Yeah, I mean, look at that one. That, that's absolutely stunning. And when you sit here feeling these papers, as we say, because they're handmade, they do feel like fabrics. They are really very different indeed. And if you were to sort of, you know, tear into these and use them onto your um, your cards and things, they, they um, would really add something to your cards, mm. I think, or whatever you're working with. I think it would be great as journal covers as well. I've got mm. one here. Absolutely. Which you've got the lovely shimmy on. Not a jimmy. Not a, a shimmy. jimmy. A shimmy. Uh, but again, to turn that over on the back. I think that is a great effect. Yeah. I really do uh, like that distress look. In fact, I'm liking that side More better than, than that side. side. Yeah. But they both work really well together. It does look like a wood grain. And then on the other side, you've got that lovely distressed look. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, really they're, like they're that. They're really nice, aren't they? Good, good variety of colours as well for you. So um, when you get them home, mm. do turn them over. I'm just going to yeah. grab those. Yeah, that little one, look. Do turn them over so, because I think the reverse is better. Yeah, because that's the reverse. And then the other side is that. So you can decide what you want to go for. Um, so these are 9.99 instead of £40. Now I can believe that because yes. I've gone into, you know, those paper mills, yes. you know, where they do the sort of hand making things and you can buy the papers there. They are expensive. So I can believe that these ones are 40 quid, but under a tenner, should be £1.33 a think, page. I think that is superb quality. I mean, again, look at this. You've got the one side which has got uh, the gold and the, like the glitter, that shimmer, mm. but then turn it over yeah. and you've got that lovely muted, almost like a, an orange colour. Exactly. Yeah, I think these are fantastic. They really are. Uh, so different, so unique, so pliable. You, you will want to play with these, and I think they'll, ins I think they'll inspire you as well. When yeah, you they get will. Them. Yeah, and remember, turn them over, because mm. the reverse sometimes is better than the front. Oh, these really are beautiful. Yeah. And again, with the uh, journals that are here that somebody has made up. I wonder if Dee made these up. These look superb, don't they? Mm -hmm. It gives you a chance, yeah, to use these handmade papers with perhaps some of your graphic 45 mm -hmm. as well. 9 99 You see there, just turning the pages, what a difference it makes. Just a regular journal, but then using the handmade papers makes all the difference. Yeah. Love these. 274 your item number. 
under £10 for that lot. I think that is fantastic value. £9.99. Remember, colours will vary, but they are all handmade. Should be a pound thirty-three per sheet, uh, but not today. A lot less than that. You're paying thirty-three pence per sheet, so that is fantastic value. So I would definitely have a think about that one. Two seven four eight five one, and I know that we won't have a huge amount of that as well. So that's definitely worth having a look on the website and buying that quickly. Right, we are talking about Pink Frog Crafts next. I had the pleasure of working with the uh, lovely team from Pink Frogs recently. Pink Frogs. Pink oh, they Frog. are they are fabulous. They aren't are they? fabulous, and I tell you what, their cardstock is second to none. Yeah, it really is. It really is. They source it so well. Now we've got some ice white card and paper. The card is 300 GSM. The paper is 120. This clearly is the paper mm. that I'm flicking through here, but it is a lovely ice white with a lovely little bit of shimmer on there as well so you've got top top quality excellent for stamping and uh, absolutely beautiful for your die cutting machines as well this is your paper at 120 yep. Rachel has got the card I do. at 300 GSM I do and once again it, it just feels lovely there is I mean you know they were laughing at me when I was sort of looking at their cards and papers because I was like oh this and they said you know your stuff don't you and I said yeah it does it feels very different it's really really fantastic quality lovely sort of sh soft sheen to this one as well and as we were saying this is a 300 GSM and you're getting a lot of it 50 of each for 14.99 and your uh, card making or your um, your crafts you have to start with the good base quality product. Yeah, you certainly do. I'm here. just thinking about the, the, the shimmer that you've got on here and the colour of that ice white. I think using this again with your graphic 45 yes. papers, because you've got that black, predominantly throughout your graphic 45 and the colors I think using it with this will really make those elements pop out yeah love I it I think so very very good and a lot of it great quality 372 472 it's is got your item flickability number. it has got flickability. you know when card and paper stock is great because mm. it's that flickability it is now the next item um, Janice I think could just talk about this herself because I heard that she did a whole hour on zips yes how did you fill an hour on zips well you know there's a lot to say isn't there and there's a lot there, of zippage is there? here there is really zips are great what would we do without them? okay what would we do we would not them? be able to do our coats up so no. we would be warm Unless we would not be able to fill a cushion Unless you use buttons. Unless you use buttons you wouldn't be able to <laughs> keep things safe in your bag Ah, you do need zips. Yes, you do yeah. need zips. No, in all seriousness, you do um, need zips. And also this for clothes as well. Sometimes buttons won't do where zips will. Um, this is a great colour. And well, it's yellow. Yes, with your yellow it, it is great zips. for spring. Um, but you know what? You mentioned a couple of good things there because in terms of cushions, yep. how lovely. For the springtime, jazz up your home a little bit. Make some lovely yellow or orange or flowery cushions. Have this yellow zip. Or in clothing as well, exposed zips are all the thing, aren't they? Yeah, you well, know, it was in the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, and it still very much is. I mean, like you know, like, the only thing is though, you know, a lot yeah. of a lot of um, manufacturers are putting coats together and they're putting like a zip there or a zip there, and you spend half your time trying to open that zip. It's not a pocket; it's there no. for fashion. Exactly. Um, but you're quite right. I think a cushion, if you had the right colour and then had a bright yellow zip, it will add that detail to it. And although you don't see the zip so much, sometimes you know you do and yes. it looks nice thank you for that editorial Janice you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes you don't see the zip and sometimes you do I can see how yeah. you made that go for an hour well you know sometimes you've just got to say it as it is sometimes <laughs> you see the zip sometimes you don't and you can see here I'm just raveling through the zip I there mean, is a your lot zip of this do you like it quite fabulous. do you like it um, <laughs> mind you if I had a flute it might dance for me I don't know just like a snake Talking of snakes, I knew, I'm just going to keep going through this because this is the other editorial as well that keeps me going for an hour. Okay. Uh, I knew a magician's assistant, and so do you actually, who lost <laughs> their job to a snake. They lost their job. Who is this that we know? They lost their job to a snake. They used to get into the basket while the magician came along and put the knives in. The swords, you know, right. the, the magic trick. Yeah. And um, he just turned around and said, it was too expensive to have you. I'm, I'll have this snake instead. Who was the magician's assistant? Susie. 
What, little Susie? Yes. Reading Susie? Yes. Oh, bless her. Well, I'm glad they're helping she Faith. She's got she some hilarious stories to tell. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you might think about that when you get this long... This is another way of making it last an, uh, an hour. Long... Zip. 15 metres. 081963. That was just poetry in motion, that was. Thank you very much. Should be £10. No, it's £10. Should be 50 should be 50. I'm not surprised there was a lot of zippets there. Okay, um, something else that we have for you as well is our one day special. Uh, now, this is your Plain Palmer Designs um, Blooming Anthem Floral Dye Collection. 36 dyes in total. Um, if you want to call, um, give us a call, 01733 60 2000. It's on flexible payment, that one as well. 1999 today, 1999 in a moment. Uh, we will meet uh, Kleiner next as well. So make sure you keep watching this lovely show. We've got another 12 minutes left of bargains galore. You jump on the website and do some shopping or come back and listen to this. Well, here we are with Kleiner. Hello. Hello. We have not worked together yet. We haven't, but, but we soon will. Today. Yeah. Are we doing it twice today, you and I? Yeah. <laughs> That's good then. So our first show is at nine o'clock. That's right. One yeah. day special, which of course launched last night. Yeah. I think it went very well. Yeah, it's doing great. Yes, which is always good. What do we have? Okay, so we've got three flower packs, um, but each one has got a different um, piece of foliage in with it yeah. as well. Um, and what you can do is you can mix and match all of them. So you've basically got six different flower and foliage elements and you can create um, easy flower embellishments for your projects. Yes. Now, what I'd just like to um, bring your attention to is this wreath yes. um, that I made in uh, one of the shows yesterday is held together with just six brads. So all of these elements, yeah. um, and there's dozens of them on there. Okay, let's have a look at and, that. And that one's the same, actually. Yeah. I think that, that card of the wreath on there is just held together with just seven brads. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's seven on that one. This one was six. Yeah. Um, so all of the elements have got little rings on the end. Mm. So all those brads that you've got in your stash that you haven't used for ages, get them out. And yeah. you can make really easy, quick and easy um, flower embellishments for yeah. your for your uh, projects. I have to say, I l there is something for me, I, I've, I've, I've said this for a long time actually, um, about flowers of this size. I really like little flowers. Yeah. There's I, just something, I don't know what it is about, maybe it's because they are lifelike in terms of like this is the size they would be, so there's something that connects with me when I look at them. Yeah, I tried to make sure that the flowers were suitable for card making projects, mm. but also you can use them for home decor as well. Yeah, yeah, they're a really nice size to play with aren't they? And to do things like that, because as you were saying, if you were to hang that, you could hang that all year round. Beautiful. But that, I mean, what a statement piece that is. So it's just, this is just by mixing and matching all of these together. Yeah, I think we've just got one pack in there. That's a honeysuckle pack. Yes. Um, but the, the, you know, the thing that's different about them is that they're easy to assemble and it's literally just seven brads holds that whole wreath together. Yeah. Great fun. Great fun to play. And with. I'm doing one wreath every hour to make, and they're all going to be slightly different oh, as well. Fantastic. So fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so our two shows will be different today. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to that show. One Day Special launched last night. Of course, we know with One Day Specials, they can disappear. So don't wait until the end of tonight. You might be getting an early bath. might be able to go home early. Might do. Yes. Uh, so do check out these shows later on today. Have a look on the website as well if you want to shop ahead, of course, for these fantastic dyes so you can make these lovely wreaths and these lovely flowers. Fabulous. So thank you very much, Kleiner. I will see you in a bit. You can hop onto the website right now, though, hochanda.com and buy whatever you want. I'll pick up the phone, of course, and talk to our call centre in this very building. I've seen them. They all work very hard indeed. We've got lots of other dives for you on the show as well. Uh, well, on the website, I should say. Uh, they're all there for you, hochanda.com. But don't forget those seven-day savers because they are some stonkers there, and they do disappear sometimes before the seven days. So have a look, hochanda.com. <laughs> Now, if you thought I could last an hour talking about zips, you should hear the yarns I've got to tell about thread. Yarn. Didn't really work, did it? Where's the tumbleweed? I could make one out of thread. Maybe you could. Maybe I could. Mm. Um, these are lovely. We've got some great colours. Yes. Uh, 600 metres on each, and you've got 20 
20 reels in total. These are lovely. Um, and these are really good for your computerized machines, but also for your hand embroidery as mm. well. Yeah, colours will vary, apparently, but you are going to be guaranteed to get some beautiful colours. And a lot of it, 600 metres each, 20 reels in total. So that is 600 metres each, 10 is 6,000, 12,000 metres. Wow. What, is that wow at my maths or wow at the amount you get? Um, wow at the amount. <laughs> <laughs> Not at your maths. It's wow at my maths. Just under a mile awful. then. Just yeah. under a mile. Oh, that's even better. Um, so if you're taking these out in the woods and you get lost, you've got just under a mile to get home. <laughs> to put around trees. <laughs> uh, 575 oh. 571, that's your item number. We've been very busy this morning as far as soft crafts have been concerned. So uh, perhaps we've got a lot of um, sewers, or mm. seamers, mm -hmm. sewers uh, watching this morning. Yes. 15 pounds, saving 25. I think that's the key to this. Um, it works out to be 75 pence per reel. That is very good value, isn't it? Uh, instead of 40 pounds, 15, 575, 571 is your item number. Uh, grab those while you can, because they will disappear like the other things, I think. Once again, a very useful purchase to have on offer. Right, next we have some heavyweight construction board for you. Very useful stuff indeed. Uh, if you want to get hold of this, it is under a tenner instead of nearly 23 Pounds. Do you know what I like about this? Go yes, on. you can do your constructions, but also if you put some gesso on here, it becomes a blank canvas. Yes. So you could make a picture for your wall as well, because it's a really, really good size. Yeah. Cut into this as well. Maybe if you've got a Cricut machine, for example, um, it's the right size for the larger Cricut machine. Um, and it gives you a chance then, of course, uh, to cut out different shapes if you want to. Sometimes, if you're sewing, you can cut out your shapes in your card and then you can add your fabric around it. Yes. Mm. It's very useful stuff indeed. Could you think of it? Do you. 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 It was as if somebody had just pressed fast forward on Rachel. What I was going to say was the words were. I want. Oh, now this is funny. Go on. If you are recording this show or we'll watch it later on Rewind, why would you? But hey, you might. You could slow all that down to see if Rachel actually made sense in her fast forward. I really didn't. That would be There were no spooky. words. There are no words. Uh, right. Um, what I was going to say. Yes. <laughs> And it is pointless, very much like when I did my Leone thing, my Leone comment. Oh, that's it's just better. berries. Stop doing it. I'm that's worried better. for your health. Uh, what I was going to say was, uh, stop it. <laughs> Why ever get these words Were out? you going to say stop it? No, I was going to say stop it. What were you going to say? I'm acting like a crazy person now. What do you mean acting? <laughs> <laughs> right. Could you make a box out of it? Well, that was my comment. I know. Bit aggressive there, Rach. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, you make, make a, a box, box out of it? <laughs> yes, you could. Yes, you could. Here are your seven day savers. You've got four minutes, nine seconds left of the show. But of course, seven days say no sorry you haven't got four minutes and five seconds left at all. I beg your pardon. You've got six days, four minutes left for your seven day savers um but i think i was all right we have got about four minutes left of the show we have um i don't know what i'm saying this morning uh nor does rachel apparently no. uh, remember <laughs> slow it down see if it actually was a sentence i would love to hear that <laughs> was it fast forward or was it backwards i don't think it was anything can you talk backwards no can you not I can, that is my that is my one party trick. I can actually talk backwards. What can you say? Backwards? I'm not very good at spelling. I'm not very good at anything like that. But there is <laughs> there is one thing that I learned, on. and that is to talk backwards. Go on. What if yep. I if I just give you a word to say, you can say it. I could probably say a short sentence. Okay, so if, if, if you keep it simple. Right. I love you, Janice. I love you, Janice. I love you, Janice. Oh. See anything? Say it backwards. Anything. I got quite excited then for a second. I did. I got quite excited. I love you, Janice. Ace in the jam. Yes, in the jam. You love it. No, it no. doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. This does, though. This, of course, is your fabulous 
deal of the day, isn't it? Yes. Yes. It is the deal of the day. I was wondering which uh, one it was. We launched this this morning. It wasn't too long ago, Rachel, I actually, know. was it? I know. Um, and it is supposed to last 24 hours. You've got a great little kit here. Uh, you've got your card, which is beautiful, smooth as well, great for stamping on there. You've got your heat reactive um, inks. Inks. That's the word. That's the one. Um, and you've got some great colours in there as well. You've got your spritzer, you've got your glues in there, and you've also got your blending tool, 2438. Go and have a look at more detail on the website if you want to. Yes, 203115 is your item number. Make sure you grab it before it disappears tomorrow at 7 o'clock. We're disappearing now. Probably people are saying, thank goodness. But we have got plenty more on the way. Coming up right now, it's Card EO. After that, the Kleiner One Day Special that we just mentioned, and then Encaustic Art. You have a lovely morning, but please keep it here with Hochanda. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques? By watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators, or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Good morning, I hope you are well. Oh my goodness, you're in for a treat this show. We have got cardio and we have got the most beautiful stamps. It's the Woodland Collection, so I'm feeling right at home. I really am. We've got the wonderful Wendy with us as well to take us through all the different designs, how you can use these stamps to build and create images which will take you through the whole year, from spring, through summer, through winter, through Christmas, through autumn, yes, that was in there, and all the way, <laughs> all the way back into spring again. I don't know why I forgot the autumn. I was just mesmerised by these beautiful images. Hi, Wendy, Hi. how are you? I'm good, thank you. You? Yeah, I'm really, really well. I don't know what I'm more surprised at, these beautiful images, or the fact you've just told me you're a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. The reason why I bring that up, we've got a happy birthday, haven't we? Have we? Is it a birthday? We just no, no. Hello? I just wanted to say hello. Oh, I, have, okay. I have just had my birthday though. Oh, oh so there you go. Husband, so yeah, <laughs> you go. <laughs> we have, we have so happy birthday Thank to you. you. There's <laughs> method in my madness. <laughs> but we are going to say hello to Emily. Emily, morning, Emily. Morning, Emily. 
<laughs> She'll be made up now. She'll be thinking she's a queen with two she birthdays. Will, uh, right, can we talk about your good self for a moment or two and just introduce the stamp collection? Yep, we try and make sure all our stamps are as versatile as possible, hence the reason why all of these stamps we can use all the way through the year. So yes. I'm one of these I don't like to have to put a stamp away after Christmas. If I like it, I like to be able to use it all year round. Yes. So that's where our sort of design came from, our design ideas came from. So that's what we try and do, just be as versatile as we possibly can and it gives you the most sort of use out of the stamps that you've got. Oh, you've certainly got versatility here. This is your complete collection. You're saving £5 and it's available on two payments so you can spread the cost over two months if you want to buy it in one go then it's 42 pounds and 94 pence if you're a freedom member there's no PMP to pay on that but I need to tell you that already a quarter of the stock has gone already we're really busy there's some absolutely beautiful images in here but I think it's when you bring them together Wendy that you start to build and create those lovely woodland scenes yeah we were just saying a second ago actually if you just see them as they are yeah the beautiful lovely little animals and things but it's when you start to build those scenes and the fact that if you buy all this collection now, the last collection that you bought, you can start to mingle in with these and yes. the possibilities are just endless with them. So you do so much with them. Now you've got something for everyone in the Woodland Collection. So you've got your animals, you've got your birds, you've yeah. got your insects that we're yeah. seeing here. And you've also got the lovely little accents as well, like that fence. I love that fence with the barbed wire. Really? You've got yeah. the flowers as well to add, to embellish those areas around that tree trunk if you want to. You Toadstools are in there as well, and a whole collection. I'm not going to ask you what each one of those toadstools Don't. are, <laughs> please. <laughs> but uh, you've captured it so well. Even the one there that it's, I would if I was going to put a colour on that, it'd be like red and white. Yeah. But it looks knobbly at the top. So yeah. I can describe it. Do you know what I mean, everyone at home? <laughs> it's not just a mushroom or a toadstool. You've actually captured the very essence of it. Yeah, and again, it looks so much different when it's got the colour on it, like you were yes. saying. And the thing is, you don't need to be as frightened of making mistakes with these. Go straight to your cards, you know, yes. don't worry about it because nine times out of ten, you take one of those little accents, if you put a finger mark on then you're straight over and you wouldn't know it yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, we've just seen the Easter eggs as well. Um, again, Easter's coming up, but it doesn't have to be Easter that the you use those cards because it's a woodland collection. It could be a nice little egg just saying that, you know, there's a start of a new life or well, a Well, I've put egg. some in there's a, there's a little bird's nest. So I've put a couple in the little oh. bird's nest as well. So also you could use them for Easter. But again, you know, you can do a lot of hearts in there as well. So if you're doing a little wedding card, because we yes. always do animals that are facing each other, yes. if you put the little hearts in there, you could use that as an engagement card or a wedding card. It's just sort of thinking outside the box, really. I do love them. that. I like the way you've used those... Um, stamps as well like uh, in a in a silhouette style because I think these will work with colour yeah. but also silhouette style yeah. as well. Silhouette, anybody who knows me knows I always go straight to my silhouettes for Christmas yes. and generally through the summer I do more pastels but they do work beautifully for silhouette as well. I've got to tell you a third of the stock has gone now, wow. a third of the stock has gone of the complete collection. Now the individuals, can I let everyone at home know about the individuals? Well I was going to say you could buy them individually but they've sold out. Oh, that's good. So they've sold out individually uh, and we're very busy on the complete collection. So the only way you can get them now, and why wouldn't you, is in that complete collection. Right, uh, we're going to move on and we're going to go and have a look at the sentiments because these are beautiful. Um, I want to show you some samples with the sentiments as well because like we were saying earlier on, you came into the earlier show, you can say your happy birthdays at the start of a show yeah. like I did, yeah. or you can say your happy <laughs> birthdays inside the yeah. car, can't you? I think it's nice to be able to use a greeting all the way through the year. So if you yes. because a lot of the time we don't just want to wait for birthdays. So we mm. might have somebody who's done something really nice for us yeah. and we just want to send a card. So it's lovely to have just verses that you can use all year round. Well, we're busy for the sentiments. Oh my goodness, 45% has gone already. Uh, shall we read a couple of them out? Um, actually, yes. What our lovely producer will do for me and director is take <laughs> us down here so I can read them. In all things of nature, there is something of marvellous. Oh, and that's by Aristotle. Uh, wherever you are, there is sunshine. That's nice. Yeah, it's pretty like that. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. That's so true. I think that's very pretty. Uh, if the path be beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. I think that's my favourite. I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. Uh, my wish is to stay away. I was going to say stay away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be someone oh, else's wish. We would have just started. <laughs> 
My wish is to stay always like this, living quietly in a corner of nature. Uh, beautiful Claude Monet there. Flowers are nature's smile. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, adopt the peace of nature. Her secret is patience. And that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And if you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. Vincent van Gogh. 70% of the stock is now yeah, gone by the time I've read all through those. 9 99 it's a great price, everyone. 710001 is your item number. Now, let's just take a look at the frames if we can. When I say frames, these are masks yeah. or stencils. So you can create frames, and there's so many things you can do. What we've basically done is when we've cut the stencils, we've not thrown any of the components away. Ah. So it means you can sort of stamp over things. Yes. You can use them as a, a general mask so you can create the frames. And you can emboss them as well so I've embossed them with an embossing tool as that, well so it I just gives just it a little that. bit it looks like you've layered it with cards only a, you haven't used any cards wow it's a game changer that mm -hmm. is um, if you see there I when we were talking about this earlier on we were saying you could save card that's why you saw there I just went like that because I thought you've put some card on here mm. haven't you Wendy like no, <laughs> there's no card on there at all that's amazing but you do get that embossed detail fantastic 13, even our director thought that that was card on there. That really is amazing. And it is a game changer because you can have any color now mm -hmm. as your surround. You're not wasting any paper. Wow. 13 pounds and 46 pence if you want to get this set of four stencils. 888-407 is your item number. Wow. That is incredible. Love that. Okay. Your complete collection. Let's take a quick look at that. Half the stock has now wow. gone. We better get demonstrating we with these for you. Half the stock has now gone. They've all sold out individually. The only way to get these fabulous stamps, and why wouldn't you want them all? You really do wood. Uh, you really will enjoy this woodland uh, image. 20 one pounds and 47 pence is your first payment there is another payment for 2147 but it gives you a chance to spread the cost over two months uh, which is a great way to buy it's interest-free payment as well 860-266 is your item number and if you open your flexi buy if you did want to add anything else like the masks for example all the sentiments you can split the cost of those into two if you're going for the complete collection just helps you out really spread the cost if that's something you choose to do right back with Wendy let's have some demonstrations okay so I'm gonna get one of the more complicated ones out of the way first so okay. I don't have to worry so we've let we've put the whole of the stencil on top of the card exactly where we want okay. it then what I've done and I've just used a, re a removable adhesive for that yeah and then we've taken the middle panel out because that is the, the, the center that we're going to be right. actually uh, stamping onto so I've just rubbed the back with a little bit of wax paper it just adds a little bit of lubrication for when I'm going to do the embossing okay if you do the embossing first what that means is it's going to sort of lock the card into the stencil so the way I stamp when I'm actually rubbing um, the ink on so the front of the card. So don't need to put this through a, a die cutting no, machine? No, 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 I just use a general uh, ball tool for this. Look at that. So, because it's quite simple, it's quite a simple shape, you don't really have to worry about it. So we're just sort that of following that through. so easily. So the wax paper does help. Uh, apparently you can use a tumble dryer sheet as well. Okay. But what it's done now is push that design right up into the stencil. So now I don't need to worry about it, anything going underneath or seeping underneath it. So the first thing we're going to do for this one, this is the one we're going to do. And we're just going to pop a little bit of uh, paper just on there and I'm just going to use a dry baby wipe just to run the ink over the top okay. so I'm first going to go with the green so we're creating our hill here okay so little circular motions and we're just going to rub off the edge could you use a blending tool of course if you, had you one? can yep you can use whatever you've got this is just my preferred method I do need to tell you we've got cues on the phones everyone um, two minutes long we will get through your calls the best way to order if you can if you have access to the internet through the app through a computer or through your smart uh, or through a tablet or through a smart TV actually if you've got the internet okay so again don't be frightened of the white space I used to always think when I first started that you had to fill the whole of the car but I actually like the white space it gives it a little bit of highlight mm. and a little bit more depth so I'm just gonna put a little bit more color on there and then what we're gonna do is take this top piece of paper away now because we've cut um, from one piece of paper to get our hill shape like this yeah what it means is I can mask out the bottom half of this now and then we can carry on with the scene that we're building so I'm just gonna pop that there like that and now we can work above okay so if you're doing this as well just bear in mind what you're gonna be stamping across here because you don't want to make it too dark if the okay. colors that you're using are gonna be quite pale <laughs> so I'm just gonna start to rub on the yellow just over the top here and again don't make it too dark 
So just blend off the edge and just bear in mind what it is you're going to be stamping through the middle. So the yellow is always quite bright when you first start. Yeah. But we're going to add a little bit of red just to calm that down a little bit. I'm aware these demonstrations do take a little bit longer because obviously we've got this little mask oh, in but place as well. But it's, Wendy, it's so worth interesting. It. Yeah. When you think how much money it'll save you with not masking, uh, matting and layering everything that you do, it's I think such a massive difference. It really is. And it will give you the opportunity to mask and layer as well because, like you say, sometimes you don't want to do that because you don't want to waste your cardstock. And but just I'm looking so around at a couple, of um, a couple of your samples and some of them you've not even coloured, you've just embossed around yeah. and doesn't it make Because white is difference? beautiful, white yeah. is just, it kind of looks very, very classy I think, just the white embossed edges. Okay. We'll just show you that one we were looking at actually, just to give reference to it. Just embossed there, no colour. How effective is that? Now, for me, that looks like a very expensive cardstock that you've bought that's been pre-scored yeah. um, around. Fabulous. So, we're going to stamp our tree trunk because that's sort of the main um, image in the design. Yeah. So, for this, I'm going to use two colours. So, so the actual uh, finished design doesn't look flat, we're going to add the paler one first, and that's so we don't contaminate our inks. Okay. So, all over with the pale ink. I do like, like this. this image, you know. I love this. There's so many uses oh for it. Oh, my goodness. The, the images that you've captured, just everything. You know, it's not just a tree trunk. There's so much life in that. And because it's got the hollow in there as well, you can actually put little animals and things yes. underneath. So can you see I'm just sort of running around now with oh, the darker yes. colour, and it should make that middle just pop out a little bit, and we should get... Now, I do need to tell you, as we're looking at that tree trunk there, that your sentiments, which we can see on the card just there, are limited stock. Your sentiments are limited stock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sentiments. Eight sentiments there for you for nine ninety nine. but limited stock. They truly are beautiful. Beautiful words, beautiful font, and a great price as well. 710001. Okay. Thanks for that. So there's our little tree trunk in place now. So what we want to do is add some little bits and pieces into the background. So we're going to use some of the wildflower wood. So all of these are going to work together. Yeah. So we're just going to do some of the more solid ones first. Now I've got a question for you. Yeah. I uh, hope you don't mind. I don't. So we've put the tree trunk down. Yeah. Now you're adding the flowers. Yeah. Would you have... Is there a rule of thumb? Would you add the flowers first and put the tree trunk on top? No, I'd always do my main images first, always, right. yeah, because if you don't get everything in, it's not the end of the world. You can just yes. keep layering over the top. So I always get my main things in that I want first and right. then we work around them. Great. So all the little tiny flowers and things are fantastic. They're just sort of working into the background like this. So we've got some ivy. That's yeah. Oh, I love so we're gonna, that. Well, that is um, black currant. So in the winter, ah. ivy. And then in the, in the summer, you can use it for your little blackberries. Yeah. So this one, what I'm going to do is add a couple of colours. Yeah. So we're going to use a little bit of the pink, and then I'm going to go on with a little bit of the green as well. And we're going to add these into the background as well. Do you know what's nice about this is that each and every scene is going to be different. It is. Like you say, for the different seasons. See, I get bored very, very quickly, yeah. so I like to be able to change it up a little bit. I don't want it all to be the same. So the fact that everyone's going to be different and you might just decide to put something else in. Yeah. Um, and you can change a card so easily just by adding a couple of little things into your designs. How about using these with fabric ink on Beautiful fabrics. with fabrics. Oh my word. Absolutely beautiful. I used to, when, when I first started on the TV, I had a little apron that I'd stamped up like that as well. So you can create some beautiful things, bags and things oh, like that. I'm thinking um, table runners. Yeah. Um, table sets. We did have a lady once for her wedding and she actually um, stamped up all her tablecloths and a, a, oh, wow. a cards, you know, the place cards, absolutely everything she did and she was just fantastic. That really would be amazing. Because everything just matches. Yes. Um, the sentiments, I do need to tell you, we've technically sold out of the sentiments. They're all in baskets at the moment, so please do check out your basket to make sure you get those sentiments. Okay. And thank you for buying them, well done. Thank you very much. Well done, Wendy. So we're going to add a little bird in now. So you can see this actual um, tree trunk can be used as a sort of to house all sorts of different things. Like we said, underneath the little um, yeah. tree trunk, we can put little animals in as well. So let's take that off now. Look at that. So there's our little, and what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of grass there as well. So I'm just going to whip that around, add a little bit of green, and we're going to stamp a little bit of the grass just over the top. How about a storybook? 
the beauty that you could make for the little it. ones. Wouldn't I mean, that be lovely? Yeah, there's not much really that you can't do with yes. these. Yes. And like I said, you just don't get bored, and kids love them. Even my little granddaughter, she plays with them. Oh. And she's actually quite good. Okay, so just over the top there, I'm just going to add a couple of little bits of grass just to give the front a little bit more interest and then we're going to stamp one of my favorites which is the little hedgehogs Aww. so let's get those and again I'm going to use two colors on these so we're going to give them a slightly um, paler belly yeah so palest one first I'm going to go all over the whole hedgehog again when you see the hedgehog stamped out you'll oh, see the cute. detail yes Very it does cute. have that furry belly and then you've got those Does. spikes at the top it yeah captured it it's so well it's very sort of uh, detailed it's really really lovely so let's pop this one about here just in the front okay so there he is and then let's do the smaller one as well so again all over with the pail and then we're just going to go around the edges with the dark can we use these stamps to make and create and sell? Yes, you can. I'm thinking charity cards. Oh, definitely. And the thing is, because you don't need to do a lot of layering, yeah. but they're going to look like they're layered, you're going to get the, your, your money's worth out of those, so you'll be able to make and sell them if you want to as well. So we've done all of this now. Yep. So what I'm going to do is just pop off this frame here. Uh, so we're going to leave that in place and we're just going to take that one off. Look at what it's created. So if I want to emboss that, I can emboss that now. So hopefully, if I just take my wax paper again, excuse me, like that, and we'll just pick up on this little edge here. And again, if you want to stamp through this as well, you can. And you can also add the middle bit in. So if you don't want to catch that middle seam, we can take this and we can add that back in. So if you did want to stamp over it, you can just pop that back over the top like that. So I'm just going to use my little baby wipe again, and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour. So just around the edges here. And either way, you're adding the ink without using a blender or anything. It is. It's, it's actually really, really easy to do this way. Yeah. And you know, we forgot to emboss it, so I'll do that in a second. I'll we'll just okay. put the colour on first this time, and then I'll add a little bit of embossing around the edges as well and this one is going to be pretty much done so just going to calm that yellow down a little bit with yeah. the red so again it doesn't need to be a lot but if you wanted now to stamp through there so if yeah. you want to take one of the fine stamps or maybe a flower or something you could have the border stamped as well That's by using good, that them. is an excellent idea because you've got those beautiful little birds and embellishments and flowers uh, right I've got some news everyone if I may we've made a phone call and we've managed to get some more sentiments they're going to be dispatched on the 16th of March not too long to wait 999 we've already sold out once um, so here they are back 710001 dispatching on the 16th of March eight stamps fabulous sentiments beautiful font just 999 pop that into your basket okay so we're just going to pick up that edge there as well I have to excuse my inky fingers and then just on the edge of that one just make sure that you wax this enough so you can actually see where you're going yeah. so make sure you've got your your edges all picked up it's working very easily though isn't it it is that wax paper just helps it glide that little bit but i just didn't sort of rub that for long enough there we go and then once you've done that all of these so the rest of your actual, your actual mask can then just peel off so we take the outer one off, and then we're going to take the inner one back off where Have we did all our stamping. Have with anything? Yeah, it's just a, a removable adhesive. Ah, oh, okay. And then that middle one comes off there. Oh, look at And there that. we've got our beautiful little frame. That is, that is fabulous, and embossed as well. And it might not be as easy to pick up on the camera, but it is absolutely beautiful when it's done. Oh, that is lovely. There we go, we'll just let it Okay, so you there we see, go. Yeah, let me I'll grab this so there's for the you. original. We've not put as much in, but you can see we've got Isn't the little frame brilliant? running around there as and well. And then if I show you the frame, if I move the card, if I just turn that there, then you can see how it's embossed. That really is amazing. It adds a dimension as well. Absolutely love that.
love it. Your complete collection details are on the screen at the moment, $42.94. However, divide the cost into two over two months. It's a great way to buy, and it's interest-free as well. £21.47, two payments of, and you can buy that on FlexiBuy, uh, 860-266. Now, if you want the stamp rods now, I do like these. Uh, and you'll see um, Wendy using these in a moment's time. You've got five star reviews. Now, they aren't limited stock. We've got plenty of them to go around for now anyway. Um, I just like the look of them. I'd, I'd have them on my mantelpiece, just as they are. But go and have a look at the five star reviews. Now, let's talk about that big collection. Let's talk about the large collection. 80% of the stock has gone. It is absolutely delightful. We're only 20 minutes into the show. When we came through this morning and saw the samples, we were like, wow, wow, these are so beautiful. We knew it was going to be a busy show. I just didn't realize it was going to be this busy. Here's some samples to show you. You've got that lovely badger there just wandering out into the evening, maybe the uh, sun is setting, maybe that's a full moon in the background. Uh, you've got the lovely deer there and those toadstools as well. I think these stamps really do capture the woodland so well. The beauty is you can use them in silhouette and you can use them um, in full colour as well. You can use them throughout all of the seasons because you've got the embellishments like the fence, like the tree trunk, you've got the birds, you've got the deer as well, you've got all of that beautiful flowers and um, um, toadstools as well and you've also got the insects as well that you can see there and sometimes with those insects you can put them places where you don't really see them and then they pop out at you. Um, um, beautiful beautiful designs and if you're going for the frames as well to be able to encapsulate those images in those beautiful frames um, it's just a wonderful way of building and creating cards different each and every time you use them the sentiments are back on extended delivery if you wanted to go for those you can pop them into your basket with your flexi buy and divide the cost over too so busy for this complete collection uh, and there you go those are those Easter eggs as well this is just a few of the cards that you could make <clears throat> we're now limited stock limited stock on that complete collection my word we've been busy 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 for those this morning and um, thank you for joining us for this show um, and I'm sure you're gonna absolutely love using them when you get them home you really will now we've also been busy for the frames as you've got here 65% of the stock has gone so you can build those layers up let me just bring that card in to show you and you've got the opportunity to emboss as well which raises and gives dimension to your cards um, it really is incredible when you see this you think no surely there's a bit of card there there's not there's not we've just embossed it and maybe if I open that up behind you can see how that's embossed into the card to give you that fantastic effect. Now you're going to save your card stock. Now you're going to save yourself some money. And now you'll be able to put any colour of frame and style you want. Um, I've got one more. Can I just show you what this other sample as well? Uh, because you've got that gorgeous love heart as well that you can build and create. And again, if I open that up, you can see, yes, yeah, show two, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you can see that embossed just there. Triple eight four zero seven, that's eight 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 four zero seven. Available on FlexiBuy, £13.40, sorry, available on Freedom, beg your pardon, getting excited. Uh, available as a Freedom member for £13.46. And you get four of those. Right, sentiments, oh my word. These are back on extended delivery. Oh, and already a third of the stock has gone. Uh, wherever you are, there is sunshine. That's just one of the sentiments that you're going to get right here. Um, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. And heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. Some beautiful sentiments there and some quotes as well for you to use. And you've also got the person who made that quote as well, uh, which is brilliant. Flowers on nature's smile. 710-001 is your item number. It's back on extended delivery, dispatching on the 16th of March, but already a third of the stock has gone of the extended delivery. Uh, just a quick sample just to show you there with your sentiment on. Look at that owl, isn't that beautiful? You can make this. 
if you get them home. Oh, half the stock now has gone of the sentiments. Half the stock of the sentiments has now gone. Just to let you know that because we are having a very, very busy show. Now, if you are going for your complete collection, it's available on FlexiBuy where you can open up a Flexi basket. And here's our lovely Leone to tell you some more. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. My word, we've had a busy morning. Uh, we've got a technical sellout on your large collection, which means they are all in baskets at the moment. You do need to check out now to make sure you get your collection. £42.94. Wow. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us for the show today. It's an absolute marvellous collection. It really is. And uh, they look adorable when you start to place them together. But, uh, yes, a technical sellout. A technical sellout on those. Uh, and just to tease you, there's a picture of them. <laughs> uh, but do please check out your baskets and make sure that they're yours. Remember, they're not yours until you check out. Right, we're back with Wendy now with some more demonstrations. Sorry about that. We just oh, need to let everybody okay. know. That's okay. Wow. I thought we'd change it up a bit and have a little Christmas design in this okay. one. So just a nice little quick one. And what we're going to do is use the um, circle. A stencil yes. to create a very very simple frame okay a design inside so already what I've done while you, while we were talking before I've put the stencil on the front of the card and we've already embossed the inner circle right okay so I've done that first we've already seen that done so we don't need to worry about that piece of paper over the top this time because we're only coloring the top of the card we're gonna pop that about here now I've got some great news Wendy I've got some great news phone calls have been made and we've got that full collection oh, back good. on extended delivery. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's going to be this for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be dispatched on the 16th of March. Everyone, you've got a chance to buy it again. £42.94, pence, saving £5, available on FlexiBuy. Oh, my word, it's a beautiful collection. And uh, again, 21.47 today and another payment of that in a month's time. If you're a Freedom member, no PMP to pay on the first payment. Uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy we managed to get those back. That's so great. Thank you. And the other thing, what I was thinking as well while I was just doing this is uh, men's cards as well. Because they're quite yes. um, natural, it's nature, they'd be great for me to stick a pair of wellies in there as uh, well. Yeah, that yeah, we had on last time on the Christmas show, I think, or before, just oh, before yeah. that, but we've had them on. And the they washing would be line. Fantastic. Yeah, there'd be so many different ways you can mix these in with the ones you've already got. Can you imagine the washing line with the baby's clothes and then having all the um, woodland creatures underneath? Yeah. Oh, oh that yeah. would be lovely. It would be gorgeous. See, it's only afterwards when you start to get these home and you start mixing them all in together, you realise how many different ways you've got of using them, I think, yeah. as well. Because even I've probably only just scraped the surface with the things that we've done on these. So what we're going to do is put this little broken fence in. This okay. is the one that you like. So again, we're just going to do it in silhouette. Now, we've had an email from Helen. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, Helen. <laughs> Helen would like to know what kind of wax paper you're using. I, do you know, I'm not honestly sure i can't just say a, it's wax just right a regular or something. it's just a wax paper just a yeah wax paper. but like i said if you can't find that use a tumble dryer sheet because ah, okay. uh, apparently that's just the same thing it's just to give it a look your, your ball to a little bit of a glide yeah. you don't actually need it but if you try doing it without it you'll find it scra it scrapes it's really really horrible so i would just make sure you've got something yeah. that you can lubricate with Okay, so I'm going to take this probably just off the edge of the stencil here to give us room for the badger. So you might you might find that you might have to push a little bit harder if you're yeah. going off the edge of the stencil. If it doesn't go to the edge, don't worry because we're going to be stamping over it and covering over it, so it's not going to matter in the slightest. Who would have thought that an old, decrepit, barbed wire 
I know. fence would just be it's absolutely like a, spectacular. And, and it I could is. Have, we could have done it perfect, but actually, I love the fact, I the love fact it. that it's broken. I like that. I don't like things to be too perfect. Yeah, I love it. I so really let's do. get our little badger in. Now, these are the ones. I just adore these because the detail in them is absolutely mm. beautiful. So we could, on that one, what we've done, we've taken this hill away. So I'll take the hill away so the badger actually looks like he's in front of that yes. fence. And we'll just go all over the badger with the black. So be careful because if you if you really sort of want to be precise, I don't mind if a little bit of colour shows through the badger. So yeah. where the white is, you can obviously see a little bit of colour behind, but to me it just looks like a little reflection, oh. so I'm okay with that. And on the barbed wire as well, you can put the birds. The as nest. We're seeing in this yeah. uh, sample. It, it looks there. so much different, doesn't it? Done in yeah, the in the other colours. It's completely amazing completely the difference. Different. Um, I do need to tell you the sentiments. You're seeing the sentiment right there. Um, I'm like, are we limited stock again? Right, we've sold out once. We brought it back on extended delivery. We made those calls for you, but it's now limited stock again. 9.99. Here's your chance, everyone, to pop it into your basket if you've not already got it. 710-001 is your item number. Flowers on nature's smile. That's just one of the sentiments right there okay so we've just popped the little bird in as well just on top of the fence and again yeah. we could put the nest in there if we wanted oh. to as well but what we're not what color have you used there because that's a really nice that light. is it's two colors together so i always use two because yeah. i just find it gives you a little bit more sort of dimension so it's that great is effect. that is atlantic and it's a uh, peony over the top as well okay so i'll tend to use a very similar um, colour scheme now with this. I'll just use a little bit of the blue a lot of the time you can just pick up here so yeah. you don't always need to add more ink but just because I want to put a little bit of grass there, I'm going to add a little bit of shade and then we're just going to stamp oh. the grass in silhouette over the top. Oh. Now we've had another email from Angela. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. Angela says she's so pleased to see Cardio on her chander again. She absolutely adores what you do, oh, Wendy. Thank and you. And the designs that you produce. Thank you very, very much. Clever. They thank are you. actually, they are clever. That's a word I've not used actually this morning. They are very clever. I, I just love them. But again, it just comes from me getting bored and I like to be able to sort of change things up and swap things out. So that's why I like them so much. Yes, the badger's broken through the fence and he's on an he's adventure. He's escaping. Yeah. But the little baby badger as well. I don't oh. know whether we've seen that was a little baby badger and they go nose to nose. Oh, there's a baby so you can, one. Yeah, there's a little baby one in there as well. So. Oh, there is a baby one. It's on. Oh, I've got. Actually, I've got it. Got yeah, I've got it there. here in my hand. Here's a badger so and a baby badger. Cute. They're the baby badger. It's oh, really cute. Now, what do you call a baby badger? Is it I, a cub? I think it is a cub. I'm yeah. not 100% to be honest, but I think it is a cub. Oh, it is, yeah. Little baby badger. Don't you just love badgers? They're so beautiful. And like you say, the detail in it is just gorgeous. You can see all the fur. It really it's is. really, really pretty. Oh, a collective name for badgers. I don't know how to pronounce that. What is it? C-E-E-P. Oh, I've never heard of Sorry, that. Sorry, C-E-T-E. Set. Set, set. What is a set? Yeah. Yeah, C E. I I didn't know it was spelt like that, though, to be fair, but... Oh, of course it is. A set of badgers. Yeah. I thought set Makes was spelt S-E-T. <laughs> I did too. I've always spelt it S-E-T. I wasn't going to say that. All the way through school, I spelt it S-E-T. Yeah, me too. I thought, no, I'll keep that quiet. <laughs> oh, but apparently more people call them clams of badgers. Oh, so I've not heard that either. Hopefully that's C L A. Well, yeah. Probably not though, eh? <laughs> right, so we've added some of the little grass and oh, we've just great. sort of stamped over the top there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is take away this. In fact, I'm just going to edge all the way around. Make sure. So this black that we've got on here, I'm just going to pick it up and we're just going to oh, work is that around, around the stencil. Uh -huh. It'll just, it just sort of really emphasises the circle shape, you know, when we take it off. Now, you're using the, the masks there. Mm -hmm. Do you clean them? Yeah, I mean, this will need cleaning, so I've got okay. a sort of a new one to use afterwards, so I don't have to rush about what cleaning do we clean things. What clean them with? Um, I would just use a baby wipe. You could put yeah. them under the tap with a bit yeah. of... I mean, you might not. If you use permanent inks on there, yeah. which you don't want to be using stays on on clear, clean, okay. uh, clear stamps anyway, so it, it will always come off, but again, it's not the end of the world. Well, we are limited stock on those masks. Limited stock, fourteen ninety five. There they are. You can emboss with those. Uh, you can use them with your ink as a stencil 1346 as freedom members great price 888407 
limited stock on the masks. They are absolutely fantastic. So you can see this where we embossed it before yeah. we started. So no, because if I wanted to stamp this now, I can just pop this middle section straight back in, and then that means we can colour and emboss the outer ring as well. So we're going to yeah. give it an embossed ring on the outside. This time I'm going to try and sort of do this properly instead of rushing. So we'll just get this outer ring on here. So if you rub with the wax paper, not only does it help your tool glide, but can you see that I can actually see the shape yes. through there. So then all we have to do is just follow that line. So just all the way around the outside. If you want it really, really crisp, go for a sort of your bigger embossing tool first and then go slightly smaller yeah. each time. And it's just crisping up that line that you've got. I think it's brilliant. Okay, so now that's rose up again. So we, if we want to add some colour on, and this time we've just used the, the black. So I'm not going to use anything but a little tiny bit of the black. So just off the edge of the stencil. And again, we're protecting that centre because we've put that centre piece back over the top. So I don't need to worry about getting any ink on top of that. The thing to remember is because the, we've used every bit of the stencil and you've got the words running through the middle yeah. of this circle, make sure you cover that up. Right. Because while I was practicing with these, I used to get a bit carried away and I would be sort of going through the words, which yeah. you don't want to do in this case because you want to keep it nice and clean behind. So just a little bit all the way around. Now we've technically sold out of the mask, which means they're all in allocation and all in your baskets. Um, they're not yours until you check out your baskets, of course. And after 10 minutes, they may pop out as well. So it's a good idea just to get them. Pop out, uh, pop out your baskets. <laughs> Check out your baskets. Uh, and then you can get those masks. We've got a technical sellout. Uh, they're more than masks, so look how they emboss for you. Uh, look how they build and create for you. Uh, and look at this little badger here. So, okay, so we've just got a little bit of, uh, this is just a white PVA. So this is just dry dimensional. It just gives that really, really snowy look, just like that. Just so I'm just putting it over the fence. We're going to use a little bit, just sort of in front of the, the grass here, like that. Aww. And again, doesn't have to be perfect, that. Again, I like it to have a bit of texture. And then if we pop that straight into our glitter, we can see how many different things we could have added into yeah. this design. And there we go. Oh, look. Do you know, I'm thinking cards um, to make and create for charities. I'm also now thinking about a calendar because you could have this scene as your winter calendar. Definitely. You could have a similar scene, if not the same, for your spring. So it could go all the way through so 12 months, couldn't yeah, you, the same stamp? You certainly could. You definitely could. Oh, look. Maybe he's just about to go on a journey and you're going to create that storybook <laughs> and he's one of your characters. Isn't that lovely? And just using black ink. Amazing, amazing. £21.47 is your first payment. Another payment after that in a month's time. Uh, 860266 or 4294 if you want to pay for it in one go. Saving £5. But my goodness, what a beautiful set. Now, if you want to go for the rods, which make it easy for you to place the stamps, uh, they are available at 12 99 Always proved popular. And we've got five star reviews on the uh, website. Uh, you've got your 12 mil, you've got your 20 mil, your 25 mil, and your 30 mil. Shorty. Oh no, your 30 mil is a shorty. <laughs> uh, right, this is your complete collection. We have got a lovely, beautiful gallery behind me of all samples. Um, I don't know whether you, if you if we can can we have a look because. It shows you the stamps and all the different scenes that you could possibly create. Uh, so the first one you can see here, that's in the woodland with your insects, which are on there. Maybe a bit of a Halloween theme. Uh, then you've got the deers. Oh, and look, look at the way that the, the snow on the front, just using a bit of glitter. How lovely is that? Use the white space on your card. That's what it's there for. You've got that badger again, uh, taking a stroll out in the midnight hour which is absolutely beautiful. And again, you've got your flowers in there that you can start to build and create your scenes. You can go for the uh, beautiful masks that we've got on the show and you can put them into the different shapes, but you don't need the mask to build and create. You could just maybe cut a piece of card and then start to build your landscapes. Uh, oh, now, yes, you could add fairies to these scenes as well, to your woodland themes. But you've also got your flowers in there as well and your Easter eggs. 
not just for Easter, of course. You can have them placed in your woodland scenes, just as a mythical, magical way. And you can see here we've got some more uh, cards that you're looking at there with those beautiful flowers, with those sentiments running through the middle of them. We've sold out of the sentiments. Uh, we bought them back on extended. Did we sell out again? Yeah, they did. Um, again, just looking at this stamp set and seeing so many different cards that you can make and create. And every time I look at the samples, I see another one that I think, oh, that's my favorite. And I've seen another one that says that, yeah, you've got the love there in the love heart. And then you've got the love heart again. And then you've got the word love next to it. Uh, with the flowers, but just panning over those cards there. That's the same stamp set, everyone. That's the same stamp set. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Just using your different colours and putting them together. Uh, that one, I mean, that is simply beautiful, isn't it? That is the same stamp set. The same stamp set as the Woodland Animals. It's amazing. Uh, so, extremely busy, extremely busy. Dispatching on the 16th of March, 860 uh, Double six is your item number. How many? 102 stamps in total. Stamps, Wendy, that's it? a lot of stamps, but my word, you can do so many different you things. You can, you definitely can. So we've moved on. Yes. I've done the same thing that we did with the circle, but we've used the little heart okay. selection here. So we've already put the mask on the front of the card. I've removed the centre panel, and now we're just going to start work on the inside. We've okay. also embossed this heart as well, so you can get that nice raised heart on the front. So the very first, this is the one we're doing. So we've actually put um, the grass on the front. So I'm just in the process of getting that nice and green at the bottom there. And like I said, we've already embossed it. And you can see it's bringing the actual card yeah. stock level with the stencil. So just a little bit of colour. Now, I do need to tell everyone, the queues are six minutes long, Wendy. Wow. So if you are on the phone lines, bear with us. We will get to your call. But if you've got access to the internet, it's the quickest way to do it. Because you can, check, you can put the things into your basket and then you can check on out. Um, so it is easy. But if you are... Um, on the phone lines, we will get to you, and the call centre are working extremely hard to get through your calls. Okay. So with this one, we're just going to mask out the grass, and then we can work on the top panel. Now we've got quite a lot of um, sort of warm colour on this, so we're going to add quite a bit of colour to it. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do the fence in a real. So the fence that we've just used in that winter scene, we're going to reuse in this one, but we're going to put the little bird's nest and things in this as well. It's just to show you how easy these are to use. You could use this uh, as a Valentine's Day card. You definitely actually. could a wedding somebody card. Loves, yeah, somebody that loves animals, a wedding card. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's another sample just there using the heart shape. Oh, with the hairs in, which is quite apt because it's March. March I know, hairs. I know. And there's no boxing going on. There's no fighting going on. No, there. We, want, we don't want any fighting. It's We're all not fighting love. today. I've all never seen love. a boxing hair, but I'd love to see I one. I know, they're fascinating, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They really are. Now, I thought we'd just have a bit of love rather than uh, fighting. We don't want any of that, do we? Okay, so a little bit of red. So this is a very, very easy way to create a little background. And like I said, because we've actually uh, brought that card level with the stencil, yeah. because of the way I, I, I do my colouring on the background, so a lot of the time you would be um, using a brush or something like that, which you can still do. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. But because of the way I do it, I would probably be more inclined to get them, get the ink underneath the stencil. Yeah. So with this, we don't, it just doesn't happen with this. Famous last words, those, aren't they? <laughs> uh, now, the shows are available for 60 days on our website, on Rewind. So you can watch all of these demonstrations again when you get your stamp sets home. Uh, which is lovely because then you can relax in your own home and, and have a little craft along with Wendy. Oh, that would be great. Um, now, Wendy, you're back today at 12. We are, yeah. Uh, so we're back. We've got another show at 12 o'clock. What stock we'll have, I don't know. Um, but we will be back at 12 o'clock. Great. Okay, so two colours with this as well. So the last time we did it, it was just black. And now okay. we're going to sort of make this a bit more summery. So two colours, palest one first. And then with the dark brown, we're just going to sort of go around the edges here like that. And just pick up any sort of shadow that you might want. So basically, what you're doing is adding your highlight first, yeah. and then you're adding your shadow straight after. I wonder if you had some air drying clay, and I wonder if you had it, if you rolled it thin enough, you could actually 
put the stamp on the air drying clay and push it in and get the shapes. Yeah, it's worth a try that, that isn't it? Would be, that would be fantastic to make some plaques for your wall. There'd be so many things really mm. because you tend to get stuck in, in the things that you do and the things that you like, don't you? But for other people who are doing different crafts, there's so many uh, different possibilities that they could use with these. Yeah. So always make sure uh, when you're using two colours, you give this time to sort of settle on there because you want all the ink to merge and that will give you that nice sort of two-tone colour. So again, it just makes it look more dimensional. So we're going to pop the little bird's nest in. So let's use, again, no, we'll just use the dark on this one. So all over the top here. So this was made when we designed this stamp. It was all individual twigs. Yeah. And then we built the bird's nest from it. So it looked realistic. Aww. So we can pop that there. And again, if you wanted to, you could, there's nothing stopping you putting a couple of little eggs in there, if that's what you want to do. Oh. But we're just going to use the little bird. So a, get, look at the detail in that nest. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And all the birds are out at the moment building the nest. This is I the time. Know. I love this time of year, though. Yeah, we've got a blackbird. Have you? Um, in the back garden at the moment, who is building his nest, or her nest. Uh, getting ready, which is lovely. Wow. I can't seem to find the other bird that's going the other way, so I'm just going to use the same one. We'll pop this one down here, like that. So Aww. we've got the two. Now, you could two-tone the, the birds as well, yes. so if you wanted a little blue tick, you could have a yeah. little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow on there yes, as well. Yes, yes. So we're going to pop a few uh, mushrooms in. I think they're, they're great tits because they've got the black on black cap at the top. Oh, there he is. After all lovely. That, I found him but there. yeah, you could. There could be. There could be sparrows actually. I think you a lot. Yeah, it's colour is a lot to yeah. do with it, isn't it? It's whatever colour you sort of do it will sort of give you. Let's pop another one just there. He might actually go off the page, but we don't mind. So we've got the two of them together. Oh no. And then we're going to pop in some little mushrooms. Now again, you can do two tone with these if you want to. So always add your paler colour first, and then we're going to add the brown over the top, the darker brown. So just pop a little bit, especially sort of near the base as well, yeah. you know, where they're going to be. So we can just add these along there and always stamp them two or three times because you'll get some of that colour as well working off into the background. Oh, that's a good idea. Gives you a bit of depth It then. does, it does. So just all the way around, just catch them. And again, don't be sort of worried that these are not perfect. It doesn't matter because you're just picking up on those lovely yeah. sort of dimensional colours. Okay, then we're going to add in some of the little grasses from previously. So I'm just going to use uh, one from the Wildflower Woods. I do like the way you've got all those different toadstools, the different grasses, the different flowers, and you've got that variety, which is what a woodland is. It is, and I wanted it to kind of look as natural as possible, yeah. so you can really go for it with the little uh, woodland flowers and things like that. So what we could do into this, if you wanted to make this into a little Easter card, is pop in um, some of the little Easter eggs yeah. just in the bottom. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Or you can go all out and just do a whole card with the Easter eggs. It's entirely up to you. But can you see, you just keep stamping and let the ink sort of run out on the on the card. Okay. I do like the idea of using these with uh, fabric inks. I think they'd be amazing with fabric. Oh, they really would. Even just like a little border at the bottom of the skirt or a border around the T-shirts. Um, oh, and, yes. and you could use the masks as well. Yes, of course. Put the mask on and stamp over the top oh. and you'd have like um, a oh, one-off T-shirt, wouldn't you? Yeah. How cool is that? You wouldn't have to turn up to a wedding in the same clothes as somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> They'd pinch the toilets and put a little design on in between. If you've... Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> So these are beautiful as well, these little hanging vines are just mm. lovely because again, it just gives you that look of the woodland, it makes it look yeah. like you're looking through a clearing, so it it's very, does. very, very pretty. I'm not actually doing bad oh, on time here, considering, yeah, doing really well. considering we've done um, quite a lot with the stencils as well. So let's add um, another little mushroom, let's see if we can get this this one in here and we'll, we'll sit the little bird on this. Yeah. So let's use a little bit of the red maybe, let's try this. I probably wouldn't normally put the red in with this because of the, the colours that we've used, but on saying that, let's just give it a slightly different colour colour way. We can sit the little one of the little birds on here as well. But there are so many animals you could use. Oh wow, look at that! And you'll get a different look every time, but you know it doesn't really matter. So let's use the little bird. And so we'll you pop just the used a bit bird. of red on that yeah. stamp. 
You see, put the palest one first and stamping then... with colours rather than stamping and then colouring it afterwards. That is well, you're getting all your shades, and the yeah. thing is, you, you're not having to work at it either. Yeah, which is lovely because I mean, not although good. I love to shade, it's nice if you're sort of not really having to think about yeah. it. The, the sort of ink is doing it for you on these. Oh, I bet you're sitting at home thinking about all the different scenes that you're going to build and create and all the inspiration that you're going to have. And if you put your stamps out, like Wendy has, on the table just here, pick them up. you can just pick them up, you can reach out, you can get your grass, and then if you think, oh no, do you know what, I want the tree yeah, trunk there, or I'll have the tree yeah. trunk and the fence there, um, you've got all of that possibility. And a really nice tip with this as well is what I was finding when I was stamping. If you want some more taller grass up here, but you don't want to see the end of the grass, yes. I take it up and I have it as if it's coming from the brown, but you won't see where it's stamped on the brown. Ah. It just looks like it's coming from behind. Yes because we're using the brown as sort of um, a stamping base. So you can Got take in. the grass right up Love into that. the background as well. Okay, let's just move all these out of the way. Now my fingers are a bit inky, but we're gonna do this anyway. So again, we're gonna add our little bit of grass at the bottom here. So just take a little bit of ink. So I'm just gonna use the green. And we're gonna add a little bit more grass just down the bottom here. So we're adding some shadow for the grass. Now, just a gentle reminder, we've got about five minutes left on the show. Um, we will be back at 12 o'clock today, but remember, people do buy in between the shows. Sometimes they make the decision at the end of the show if we've still got stock, and that's when they start to pop things into the basket. So just giving you a little heads up there, because we have been extremely busy in this hour. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just pop off this centre one again, like that. So that gives us our lovely that. embossed heart in the middle Look there, like that. that. Now, we could, if you want to, just put the uh, the piece back in, but because we're only going to do the edges, I'm not going to bother. So if I just take my wax paper, and we will just... And you can actually feel where it is. So as soon as you start to press, you can see straight away yeah. where the actual stencil is. It's very, very easy to do. Oh, yeah. So you can see that straight away. So you don't need even need a light box with these ones. And then you're just basically going to just follow that. Wow. That shape. That's going to give us our beautiful embossed heart, or our double embossing, really, is what yes. it is, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got embossing on embossing. So a smaller one, just to crisp that up. And then a tiny, tiny little bit of colour that we'll just add around the outside. So you could go for a completely different colour if you want to. Yeah. On that one, we've used the yellow. On this one, I think we might just go for a little bit of green. And we'll just add this just around the edges. And again, that cardstock is now locked in place in that stencil as well. So it's much less likely to move and you're much less likely to get anything going underneath yeah. your stencil as well. Do you do workshops, Wendy? I do. I'm actually trying to start um, a mailing list for workshops because we, yeah. we advertise workshops and we're just taking phone numbers and in the end we had hundreds <laughs> of people we were trying to ring up. So we've, we're trying to just get a mailing list just for workshops only. So if anybody's interested, you can just oh, email me. Are you going to go to the NEC show this we year? We are, yes. So I can't, can't wait. I love really? the NEC. Oh, good. Such I'm there a good on show. Sunday. We have two demonstrators. I have me and then we have another one. So you get oh, double, bye -bye. double trouble. Hey. So you'll see all these close up as well. Okay, so now we can take all of this off. And then this top layer, we can just pop off here and that gives us our double embossed heart. Oh, look at that. And of course, all your repositionable will just sort of brush off, but there you go. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Being able to build that scene and then have that lovely crisp outline of that love heart using the stencils, the masks. Absolutely fascinating. Love it. Beautiful. Uh, and again, each and every time, they're going to be different uh, because you're going to get the chance to put those scenes together. I mean, here's the one with the owl that you can see just there. I love that evening winter style scene. But it doesn't have to be winter. It could be the summer. It could be the autumn. It could be the spring. It could be any time of year, any time of day as well. Any occasion. Um, that you've got the chance now to build and create with the rabbit there. You can see all the hair with the eggs. That could be Easter or it could be a happy birthday. What I love about that as well is we've stamped the words around the outside. Yeah. So we've used the words that we've got and then just created a nice word background as well. Oh, the sentiments, really lovely, yeah. yeah. So just mask the heart out again with the centrepiece and stamp it over the whole edge. What a great idea. If you manage to get hold of those sentiments, congratulations, because you can use them in that way. I say congratulations because we have sold out twice. 
um, of the sentiment. So also, thank you. Uh, the stamp collection, my goodness, busy show we've had. Um, we sold out in 20 minutes and we brought it back on extended delivery. 16th of March now, dispatching, it's not long to wait. 860-266, pounds and 94 pence. Don't miss out. The idea is now perhaps to get it into your basket and check out rather than missing out. So you get them and then you can relax and watch the demonstrations coming up at 12 o'clock. You must be very proud of this collection. I do, I absolutely love it. But you never know, you're only as good as your last show, aren't you really? Oh, <laughs> yes, but just... you're fantastic every time. <laughs> I mean, the last show we did with the washing line and the little clothes we were saying you could use those stamps and have a whole woodland scene you know it could be somebody living in a cottage in the middle of the countryside oh, no. well, be it could be all, all the animals have come to take <laughs> yeah. all the baby clothes away <laughs> yeah. you know you can have a bit of fun with that can't you uh, and you can I believe use your existing stamps that you've got you might have some mythical stamps mm -hmm. unicorns would you go imagine? lovely, yeah. You can mix everything in, can't you? Imagine a woodland scene and then having the unicorn mm, in the middle. Be beautiful. Absolutely that would be beautiful. absolutely incredible. So think about the stamps that you've got, but take a look at the woodland scene that you've got here. All of these animals, so gentle, so beautiful. Well, I wouldn't normally think of deer in because you always think deer for winter, and then yeah. you think, well, actually, no, because they're there all year round, yeah. and they make such a beautiful card. Yeah, they certainly do. And you've got all the different elements in there, including your flowers, your toadstools, your mushrooms. You've got your eggs in there. You've got the foliage. You've got your insects as well. And you can see from the samples that we've got here, you can make the cards look completely different, as if you've got a whole plethora of different stamp sets. But you've not. You've got this one with 102 stamps in it but you do need to check out your baskets to ensure yourself of making sure that you've got this particular set 860-266 is your item number so what demonstrations have we got coming up at 12 and um, well we're using the stencils again yes. and we're just slightly changing up some of the things doing put some different elements in as well so yeah uh, look forward to that so we're coming up again at 12 o'clock do stay with us because we've got more shows coming up here on Hochanda if you have anything in your basket now's the time to check on out rather than miss out make sure you get it thank you Wendy thank you very we'll much we'll see Charles. you at 12 o'clock stay where you are though Yes, coming up next, it's the talented Kalena Palmer with Rachel, also incredibly talented, uh, in caustic art after that, and then we've got Craft Treat. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is gonna take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Joe from the Mill Shop Online. Welcome to the Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies, 
and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda. Good morning to you. This is Ochanda. It's Monday. We are in our one-day special hour with the fabulous Kleiner. I've never heard of a name Kleiner, but you said your dad made it up. Yeah. How cool is that? I know. That's <laughs> so good. I mean, how did he? Where did he make it up from? Claire, 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 Claire into uh, Elena? I don't know. No, apparently there was a male name, Klein, and yeah. I turned out to be female, and he adapted it. I think it's really cool, clay now. Anyway, lovely to meet you, my lovely. And you, it's great yes. to work with you. It's, it's going to be lovely, isn't it? This is um, the second hour, uh, well, the second time, I was going to say, of you coming here to Ho-Chanda, yeah. and this is your second hour of the One Day Special. This is my second release, and yeah, um, yeah I had two shows last night, so it's yeah. my... Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah, well, it's going to be a lovely hour. If you want to shop ahead, you can, of course, on the website. But we're talking about dyes. The one-day special is this lovely selection of dyes. But there is a, a mechanic here, isn't there? It's very clever. It's not just flowers. Well, that makes it sound, like, really technical, but it's not. It's just they've got rings on the end. Yeah. So you can pop a brad through and then um, spin them around the brad to make really easy flowering um, arrangements for your cards and yes, projects. Yes, you don't have to. If you just want to use the flowers, you can. You don't have to make them um, Absolutely. You can snip that. them off if you don't need them. Yes, exactly. They are lovely. And I was saying to you earlier, Cleaner, there is something about um, flowers when they're at this size, I think, little flowers. I think they're really easy to use on card projects and they're really dainty. And I just, there's something about this size that for me is perfect. I'm kind of drawn to them. Yeah, I had wanted to make sure that they were the right kind of size for your, um, you know, for your your paper craft project really. yes yeah but also to make these lovely little wreaths as well so you could have things hanging you know from the walls as you can see there now if you want to get hold of them all together you can it's 36 dies in total 19 pounds and 99 pence there two payments of 19.99 let's see some samples then so these are the ones behind here let's have a look at uh, the kind of thing that you could be making with these lovely flowers so um, with just one yeah. brad there's a corner embellishment there so yeah you see, isn't really that clever i love this idea of this this warm brad holding everything together and then also in every pack you'll see that there's a little leaf covering the brad there yes so if you've got brads in your stash that are the wrong color yeah. don't worry i've got you covered in every pack there's a little circular cap to yes. pop over it or there's leaves and flowers in every pack as well yeah perfect but they are very versatile what you can do with them because as i say you can just use them as embellishments but you can as you say really go to town and, and use the brad there to make them more detailed how long have you been designing dyes then for clay now well i've been designing craft project um products mm. for or probably about 10 years now right um, but I've been designing solely dies for a couple of years now and I've designed for other people and other companies yeah so you may well have some of my dies in your stash at home yes you may well already but it's lovely that you've now launched your own company I mean that is absolutely beautiful isn't it look yeah that's made with um, that foam, foam on yeah yeah the depth of that is amazing yeah now, I wanted to show how versatile they are you know you yeah. don't just have to make wreaths or yeah you can but that's the great thing because you have got that versatility which makes them even more uh, great value now if you want to buy them individually you can we're going to give you the details on the bottom of the screens there um, and let's just bring them up now so first of all if you want to get the honeysuckle fern uh, that is the one on the left hand side there that is seven six five five eight eight sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence there but sixty percent of that stock has gone of that one by itself in the middle you've got the wild rose there and 17.99 for that one uh, and that is 229606 as an item number and then you have got your gladioli um, at the end there and uh, eucalyptus and that is 829289 but in the one day special you're getting the 12 pound savings it's almost like you're getting one for free and you're getting two flexible payments as well so if I were you I was just I would just go for the lot because they all work together beautifully and you are getting a great saving so today 1999 is your first of two flexible payments there 782344 is your item number a third of the stock of our one day special though cleaner has gone and that's since the two shows last night right let's move along then 
because there is more on the show. Now, take a stand. Why just put a boring old stand on the back of your project? No, well, let's jazz it up a little bit. So you can see that we have got some lovely stands with these edges. It's the edging detail that makes the difference there. We'll just turn these around so you can see. And this is really great because then you can stand these up. Um, you know, when, when you put them on the back of cards, send them to people, they will then put them on their mantelpiece and maybe keep them for a long time to come. Yeah, there's also a... Uh, wall hanging as yes. well. I think Claire's popped it on the back of her mixed media piece here. Yeah. So they pop over a screw head. Um, but each one has got some decorative detailing on it because why have them plain? Exactly. Um, yeah. And then also in the pack you have um, a couple of labels to go on your handmade projects and even your handmade produce. Because I was thinking, like here, um, the I don't know if that's the right way around. Um, but you've got homemade, a homemade hanging label, and yeah. then you've got handmade with love, which I've been popping on the back of all the projects. Yes. So, yeah, there's, it's a really, it, it's, a, it's a kit that helps you display your projects yeah. and, and use them. Exactly. You know. Yeah, nicer yeah, to have a sort of bit more detail and label, isn't it? Why? Because sometimes you can spoil something by just putting a little label on that's just plain. Do you know, sometimes it's difficult and, and it's something that you don't really think about. Mm. But have you ever tried to stand up a gatefold card? Yeah, exactly. Especially if it's curved on the front? Yes. They're a nightmare. Pop a stand on the back yeah. and then it makes it really easy. Yeah, well, we're making it easy and pretty at the same time here with this collection. 168851, but two thirds of the stock has gone. It's only £19.99 for that collection. Now, now, nesting dies always very useful to have in your collection this is a stand um, sorry this is a, a set of five uh, no it's more than that eight no it's <laughs> Oh. 12, <laughs> but they're A5. I knew I had a 5 in there somewhere, later. <laughs> yeah, there was. Uh, right, A5, and there's a set of 12 dies there. But you've got this lovely decorative stitching edging again, which is nice. Yeah, they're double stitched. So mm. um, if you're creating um, on, on the back, I think I've, I've done kind of a little... Um, example for you so if you're creating a frame you've got the stitch on the outside edge and the yes. inside edge yes so that's why they're they're double stitched yes exactly and if we look at the is this an example next to it here this one is that an example of a card on this one yes because I can't see yeah what, what um yeah Claire's actually done there which is super clever yeah. is she's used the thin um, the thin strip yeah and she's cut it over and over and then she's weaved it yes Awesome, isn't it? Mm. And then she's used the Lincolns to put her sentiment actually in the little strips there. Yeah, that is good. So they're not just for kind of practical matting and layering. Mm. You can actually use them as part of your design. And they're brilliant for um, for sentiment strips, yes. for putting behind your sentiments or putting punching yeah. your Lincolns into. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, a very useful set indeed. Twenty nine ninety nine. if you want to get all of those. Add them into your Flexi Basket, of course, with your one-day special, and you can divide that cost into two there. So 284964. And then next up, we have got this one. Now, this is the DL uh, rectangles for you, and you were saying these are quite difficult to get hold of, aren't they, DL dies? Well, these are... All of these sets are, are rectangle dies, mm. which, and very often a company will come out with one set of rectangles. Yes. Well, the kind of cards that we we make come in different proportions, and yes. particularly DL, it's yeah. twice as long as it is wide. That's right. And so, very often the proportions of a standard um, nesting set of rectangles won't fit a DL card. Yeah. Because if you want your even border all the way around the edge, mm. you, you have difficulty getting that. Yeah. So what? I'm proposing here is you pick the rectangle set that matches the style of the shape of card that you love to make. Mm. My preferred rectangle size is a five by seven, so I would go for that set, for example. Yeah. So you just pick the ones that you love to make. There you go. Well, twenty-two ninety-nine. If you would like to get that collection, there. That is seven four zero 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 eight. But nearly forty percent of that stock has gone. Let's move on to our next ones here, and uh, this is your A6. So if that is your preferred style of card or size of card, then go for this one instead. That is 794136. Again, 12 dies in total there uh, here. And uh, we also have the 5x7 as well. So if you want to get hold of those, there are the details on can the Can I screen. just say about yes, the A6, you you've can. actually got four extra little um, dies in here. Yeah. And there are your tag creators. So you've got two um, circles and then two lozenge shapes. And I've used them here on my tag um, so that means those little extra dies there turns all of these nested dies into tags and 
around the circle you know if you were to use a normal hole punch you would just get mm -hmm. the hole um, but this is actually carried on that stitch detail around around that hole that yeah. you're going to be adding your ribbon yes yeah, so and absolutely through. no space wasted there yeah very clever okay that's seven nine four one three five if you want to get that collection with those little tags in the middle and the five by seven we'll give you again uh, here are the details because we just flashed them up before didn't we so there we are uh, ten dies in this one two four seven eight nine five is your item number and that is twenty three pounds and ninety nine pence now Kleiner in her first release brought us the Lincoln alphabet and here it is it's still busy so let's have a look 608407 we're gonna have a look at some more examples of this um, alphabet as well now over half of this new stock we've got in this time has gone so if you want to get hold of the alphabet collection that is the uppercase 608407 we also have the lowercase for you as well and here are the details and they're all on 10% freedom members prizes as well so in a little extra saving for those freedom members clubs uh, members 292219 is your item Item number 1259 if you're in the Freedom Members Club there. And then we have got the numbers for you as well. And 0885103 dies, a lot of dies for your pennies. 1199 if you would like to get hold of those today. So do check out the website hochana.com for everything else. Uh, and we've also got a sample, we've got some things here actually. Um, which one shall I do? Let's have a look at the, the cards first of all, because one thing that Kleiner pointed out is that these letters curve. And you were saying a lot of alphabet collections don't do that, Kleiner, with the curve. Not that I know of. I've yeah. never seen an alphabet set do that. So um, depending, in the shaper set here, yes. depending on if you put your shapers, they're kind of like little pizza slices. So depending on the direction, if you have them yeah. that way, you get a, an upper curve. And then if you have them the other way, you get a, a lower curve. Yeah, that's and clever. Indeed, that means you can do a full circle. Yeah, that's really good. And they're a nice size as well, because sometimes alphabet shapes can be too big for a card. But once again, that's a really nice size letter. It's like the perfect well, the thing, size because, letter. Because the, the thing about them is that they link into each other, as yes. I've shown here on, on yeah. the Alignum. If we could just kind of, I don't know if we can... Uh, See that, they're like yeah, little jigsaw, in. yeah, they're mm. like jigsaw pieces, um, and they link together, which means that you've got even spacing. They're straight, yeah. and you haven't got that. You know, with alphabet sets, sometimes they can be a little bit rotational. They yes. can be on the wonk a little bit, yeah. and it throws it throws it out completely, mm. or it has for me in the past. Yeah. So they're all straight, evenly spaced, and um, nice and uniform. Yeah, exactly. And like I say, link them together like a jigsaw. It's yeah. really clever. Mm. Okay, well, if you want to get hold of those, the details are on the screen. But they are very busy for these, so make sure you check out your basket so you don't miss out. Right, my lovely lady. Oh, now, these. We must mention these. You can print these off the website. Uh, they're actually on my Facebook page. On your Facebook, okay. Um, uh, group, uh, Plain as Crafty Crew. Okay, Cleaners Crafty Crew. Yes, your Facebook page. So this is a PDF that I've done for the flower set. Um, and it, it's just a, like a jumping off point to show you or to give you some inspiration. Because you know like after shows, sometimes you think, oh, what was she yeah, doing what, again? Exactly. Yeah, so it just shows here how you can do an easy corner for a bigger card. You might want to do multiple corners, yeah. how to embellish an aperture. And then I start, you know, talking about the connectors. So these can be used to extend your um, display or um, use as a swag. So yes. I've shown you how the connectors are behind, and then if you link them up, you get a full wreath. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so there's lots of uses, and then I give you some tips about coloring and other, other tips as well. Yeah, so you can print those off from yeah. that Facebook uh, group if you would like to. So what are we gonna do now then? What are you gonna show us? The wreath? Shall we make a wreath? Yes, let's do it. Okay, now I've done a lot of this ahead of time. Um, now I'm using Foameron uh, for my flowers, but I've just cut the rest of it out of normal cardstock, so mm. I thought I'd mix the two together. Now to make these, they're really, they're really simple. I didn't use any heat or anything. I just um, folded them like this. And then I scrunched them like that. And then I pulled it apart. I forgot to leave one flat, so I'm re-scrunching it. And then I just eased it out. Now you can do this with your hand if you haven't got a big ball tool. Just ease it with your fingers, it's fine. Mm. But yeah. That's it. There. So now we're going to put, what I do when I'm, I'm making a wreath is I do individual bundles mm. and then just link them together at the end. So working from the front backwards, now what you can do is you can pile them up from the back and then put them on the brad from, from the front first. But I know how I want them um, 
what order I want them to be in. So first of all, I'm going to pop my stamen on. So we're working from the front to the back. Then I'm putting my petals on. Now for this one, even though wild roses, they normally just have one ring of petals, but mm. I thought, well, let's add three. Let's like, make it a bit fuller. Yeah. Now I've got a couple of, um, of the rose buds that come in. Now I have, um, ahead of the show, I just um, popped the little um, buds behind. So that's just one, one dab of glue there. And then I'm gonna pop some. I love this line. So was this your idea then with this um, sort of, as we call it, we can't get a mechanic, but with this brand, I mean, to sort of do it as a die form? Because it's really clever. Well, what it was, was I used to look at, I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm, I make, projects they always come out very clean and simple and kind of minimalistic mm. and I used to look at the projects that other people would make especially that kind of shabby chic style and I would love it yeah and I would think I wouldn't know I don't know where to start yeah and that kind of thing I would get I don't know and it would prevent me from giving it a go really because I would think how how yeah because it just looks so full and yeah you know and and lush and you think I, I don't know where to start so i just thought well if i did this now once you've got it on your brad you can um this is what i did i just added my connector on the back so i'm i'm just basically going from small to large so if, yeah, i can see everything mm. and then my connectors on the back now if i just pinch the brad open kind of loose then you can dial in your design this is a phrase my dad coined you like it dial in the I like design it. <laughs> <laughs> basically you spin it around the brad yeah. until you're happy with it now because i'm making a wreath i'm going to bunch them up quite quite close but if you if you were going to have this as like a a focal point on your card you would kind of want to splay it out a little bit and then that that would be your focal point on your card you see what's clever about that as well is if that was all now glued yeah you wouldn't really yeah. be able to move it around because you might see the glue where you've stuck it on there and obviously if it's glued you can't move it that quickly so that's the thing this is really good and, and it's not permanent yeah and if you make a few of these and then you've got your card and then you're sort of working out the spaces and things you can still once again go back and bring that fern down so that it covers this area or whatever so it's really clever isn't it to be able to sort of manipulate the flowers yeah and because um you're linking them up with the brads as well mm. What I, I do is I, I just pop a glue dot behind each brad. Yeah. See, now imagine if you um, put these all in a straight line, because I'm actually going to be linking these into a, into a wreath. But you could create um, garlands, swags, if you did them kind of shaped. Do you see what I mean? Exactly. You could make home decor. You could, you know, if you had a big, big um, frame, yes. photo frame, or yep. you could put them around a corner, you know, because they're all linked mm. there's lots of options yeah. but anyway we're gonna we're gonna create a circle and they're also as well I have to say not just clever in how they work but they are lovely as well you know the ferns and the flowers are so pretty together so well designed so they, they do look really really pretty everything I create and design I want there to be lots of uses for yes everyone you know yeah. yeah certainly more value for money that way yeah yeah that's how I feel Right. Oh, why is that one being a pain? Because we're live on television. Yeah, that's and why. And that's what happens. If it was at home, it would be slotting in really, really <gasps> easily. Right. It'll come off my brad. But it's okay, because I can rebuild it. Yeah, exactly. We have the power to rebuild. Uh, if you want to get the entire collection, the one day special, of course, launched last night, uh, 39.97. It's on two flexible payments today, so your first payment is 19.99, but they are available individually. However, if you are buying the, uh, the one day special, then what that means is that you're almost getting one collection for free, almost ish on the way, 12 pounds anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, a good saving, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, yeah, you're getting one of the sets for four pounds, so that is very good value. Seven eight two three four four is your item number, and nineteen ninety nine your first of two flexible interest free payments. There, uh, if you want to buy right now, you can go to the website hochana.com. But I've got to tell you, something very busy on the website right now is the alphabet set. Uh, of course, this was Kleiner's first launch, the alphabet. She's come back, new stock, but a lot of that stock 
has gone. You've got uppercase and you have lowercase. And there you are, 608407 is your item number, £14.99 if you'd like to get hold of that today. We have the numbers collection for you. They are also on Freedom Prices today as well, which is great. So uh, a further discount on those if you are in that club. If you're not in the Freedom Members Club, you can join today. It's £6.97. Still got to get it in my head. I either say 6 95 I never say 6 97 ever. Anyway, it is 6 97 uh, It's the bottom of the screen, is it? There it is. Yes, six nine seven eight 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 triple eight triple eight. If you want to join that club, you can join that club today, and I believe you can still get your discounts today. Is that right? I'm sure you can. If you join, you'll get discounts straight away. Ask them. Give them a call. Two nine two two one nine. Though, if you want to get that Freedom Members Club price on the Alphabet die set today, so it's all there for the taking on the website hopechannel.com, or you can pick up the phone and give us a call. That was a lot of talking from me. <laughs> while you were flower making. Oh look, look how far we've got. Yeah, we're just linking them into a circle. So you just literally, when you've put your piece on there like you had, you just link them one by one. Yeah. So, just loosening the brand. Mm -hmm. Try not to flick them off like I did with the other one. Hmm. Just happened again. The camera came back on me and it popped off again. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. It's amazing how quickly it does come together though. Where are you from, Cleaner, actually? With I'm from Cornwall. Oh. That's where that accent. So, from, do you do you, do you come all this way from? You still live in Cornwall. I actually live in Gloucester. Right. Oh, okay. Do you know the Tortworth Hotel in Gloucester? Have you heard of that one? Tortworth. No. Oh, it's no. a lovely hotel. It's a lovely hotel in Gloucester. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the last one. Okay. Right, now we want to make sure that they're kind of circular. We haven't really tightened them up too much, so if there's any rearranging that we want to do, we can do it. Um, but yeah, that's looking something like it. Now, I've got this ring that I want to put it on. Yeah, they're all within the ring, so that's cool. Now, you want the big reveal? Yes. There we go. Ah, oh, love now, it. Now, I will puff up the flowers a little bit at yeah. the end, but that's that's kind of what we're yeah. going for. Now, I wanted to go for some very pale colours on this one. I was thinking kind of maybe weddings or yes. yeah. that kind of thing. But you see, just there, there's there's no glue that's got in the way there. There's nothing sticking to anything. There's no shiny bits. And, and once again, if you want to just move it around when it's in that circle, you can. Yeah, once you're happy with it, because yeah. these aren't overly pinched down, what I, what I do is I do just pinch these and then everything's pretty solid then yeah, brilliant so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop one glue dot behind each of these brad points a thing with glue dots that I like is that if you want to come back and move them later if you're a bit careful with them mm. if you put something underneath it ease it yeah it will kind of come away so yeah. There isn't really anything overly permanent. But I like the fact that you've got all of these elements. There's quite a few elements there. But they're all just held together exactly. at, these, at these eight points. Yeah, it's nice. Now, depending on how many little bunches that you put together, it depends on the size mm -hmm. wreath that you get. Oh, I will mention my little um, ring here that I'm popping these onto. If you wanted to recreate um this um the outside circle is five and a half inches the inside circle is three and a half inches and i found that was quite a nice size um so for instance that would be that means this would kind mm. of fit on a six by six or seven by seven inch you know or maybe yes. eight by eight inch card yeah um but then what i did was i used my tag creator that's in the a6 set ah yes that's to, right to form my little hangy hole mm. 
hangy hole. Is that a technical I, term, that, Dana? I, I, yes. <laughs> it, it is. Your little hangy term. hole. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to pop some ribbon in there. Lovely. These are such nice little gifts to uh, to make, but you know, sort of joyful to make as well, aren't they? As well as to give. Yeah, and and mm. the thing is, we we use wreaths more and more now, don't we? Yeah. For for seasonal yes. um, yeah. home decor, not not just for Christmas anymore. No, that's right. Yeah, I've got an Easter one that'll be. Uh, Oh, have you? Been popped up, I have. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Goes on the door. It's got little eggs and things in it. Awesome. Yeah. So there you have it. Now, the last thing I would do is just fluff up your foam because obviously it gets a little bit flattened. Now, that's your... That's it. That's your wreath. That's lovely, isn't it? Like I really like the that sort of manoeuvrability. Mm. Well, we are very busy, Surpri unsurprisingly, um, people have sort of seen how it's working now and then they've gone ah right <laughs> yeah I'm having it uh, so lots of people are checking out their baskets right now so if you want to get hold of yours 40% of our one day special has gone there it is 782344 your item number the whole lot uh, coming in today first flexible payment 19 pounds and 99 pence first of two payments you get the whole lot you get them home you sit and you play and it's going to be a lot of fun uh, to make as well as to uh, to give lovely gifts as well to yourself or other people let's give you some more inspiration inspiration. It's lovely. What a lovely, clever idea. I like it. I like it. Simple things. Simple things in life. If you want to get hold of your one day special, this is it in its entirety. Lovely little flowers and ferns that all work together. Everything is balanced. Everything moves together. Everything fits together. Um, the ferns, of course, if, you, if you've ever bought a lovely bunch of flowers, we always like a bit of uh, foliage to go with those flowers, don't we? And so it's essential you're getting the foliage with these flowers here. And that's why it all works together. And then there's lovely brads, as you can see. Different types of flowers as well. So you have got your kind of uh, you know lovely round flowers there and then you've got your honeysuckles in there you've got your rose in there your gladioli in there uh, so if you want to get that entire collection 782344 is your item number and it's on flexible payments as well 19 pounds and 99 pence today your first of two interest-free flexible payments I was thinking about the gladioli do you know who I saw in a hotel the other day uh, Morrissey and I didn't know it was him. I, I thought it was a film director and I went to the reception and said have you got a film director staying here they were like no um, and then they knew somebody famous was staying they wouldn't tell me who it was and then I discovered I asked his minder and I said to the minder are you with and he went yeah he is who you think he is and I went a film director he went no Morrissey he was really offended anyway because I was thinking of Gladiola, you know, people used to chuck it out. he used to jump around the stage at one didn't he I don't know anyway he looked quite different he did didn't he cleaner his trousers off on it, didn't he? Did he? Rude. Don't do that with these. Just put them on cards. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at these lovely, lovely flowers and how you can use them. Now, you don't have to put them on the mechanic that we've been talking about, the brad. Uh, you can just use them like that as a kind of lovely bit of flat decor on a card. So it's totally up to you. Look at that. Um, colour them up so make them look quite different. I think this next one is my favourite because of that dimension. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at it. Just beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. And another one. And uh, another one. And now half the stock has gone. I think that's because people have seen how they work, seen how easy they are, see how lovely they look. So that is 782344, your item number, if you'd like to get hold of your one-day special. The stand eyes, these are so clever. Why 
use a boring old stand. Why not make it as pretty as the front? It's a bit of scrap card, but if you use the dies, you can then make lovely things. And also, not just the stands, but you can make lovely tags as well, like that look. So that once again, it's a decorative tag, goes on the back, um, or a holder. I'm not sure of the technical term for that. I suppose it's hanging. It's a hangy, it's a hangy thing. Uh, that was cleaner's term. It's a hangy, hangy thing. Um, but you can see how you can just pop that back on there. So nice to have that kind of decorative touch. And as I was saying with the back as well, why just put on a boring bit of um, card? Why not make it as pretty as the front? 70% of these have gone. So you are liking the idea of taking a stand. That's 168851. That's your item number. £19.99 and pence if you'd like to get that collection so you can make those different stands and your technical term hangy holder thingy lovely okay what else have we got we have got the alphabet this was what of course Kleiner brought to us here at Hochander and launched with brought it back today and incredibly busy very busy 60% of the stock has gone uh, we are talking about uh, letters that all hook together like a jigsaw you can use them on a circular basis as well so they're very different nice size as well uh, 292 219 your item number 44 dies in total and um, that is for your lower case 1259 a members club price so if you're in the freedom members uh, club a bit of a saving there and you also have numbers as well if you want to get your numbers there they go 088 510 your item number and that is 1079 again if you're in the freedom club and the shapers if you want to make them into the arch here they are making it easy for you 618 500 is your item number there perfect 618500 just where my necklace was all the way around I was like Rachel on Rachel on the side there that's not good um oh right there we go now there is an, a tool that we've also got on the show for you and uh, hopefully our cleaner can talk around it it is called uh, the alignum tool so what is an alignum tool it's the magnetic sheet that the Lincolns are ah on. so this that's is it Right, okay, so this is what we've, uh, what John O'Clain has done for us. She's spelt out her chanda for us. And so, yes, so you just put them on there, and then that means that you can manipulate them. Yeah? Yeah, um, you've got all your uh, popular card sizes on there because yeah. you've got either A5 or A4, depending on what machine that you have. Yes. Um, and then your Lincolns can pop on and you can create your sentiment, and then you know where on your card. Um, you know your card front where your sentiment yes. will be cut out yeah brilliant well if you would like to uh, have a go with that useful bit of kit that's your a5 for nine pounds and 99 pence but we also have an a4 version as well uh, for your bigger die solutions there so you have uh, either of those with the measurements on there that magnetic sheet to hold those in place there lovely okay so what is next we've done that one that was that's just so pretty I absolutely love that and I love it how you can move it all around and make it very individual. Perfect. Isn't that lovely? Very um, spring-like. You can imagine if you went with really bold colours. So, so Clayton, could you cut out lots and lots and lots of these and just keep going and make a really bushy wreath? Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely up to you how big you want to go. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, what you can do is you can cut, cut them all out of white. And have a big box of them yes and then color them if you want that's a good idea um to create your project so yeah. you know that way if you're kind of sitting in front of the tv or something like that yeah you know you can make a perfect make a lot of them that's good fun okay so what are you going to do for us now then okay i'm going to show you how to use um your flower dies without brads okay and then i'll go back if i've got time and show you again how you can do something else with your brads or, you know, with incorporating your brass. Yeah. So I'm just making a background here for my card. I love seeing how it all comes together. Like I said, there's just something about this size of flower. I think they're just perfect. And I like it as well how you've put different ones in there. So as we were saying, you've got your honeysuckles in there and your roses. It's nice to have that variety. Yeah, I wanted three that were quite different. Mm. I wanted um, kind of, 
you know, ones that are just at the heads. Yeah. But then I want a kind of a mid mid height flower, and then gladioli are very tall and thin. Yeah. So I wanted you to have a a nice range for the first for the first set, and obviously if you like them, then I, I can be expanding on the range. And well, they do like them. They definitely like them playing so. And then obviously one I you know one thing that I'm really keen to do is to later on maybe come out with a Christmas set. With all your Christmas foliage. Oh, now you're talking. Well, have you got wreaths? Then You've got to do it, haven't you? That would be something that I would love to do. You've got to do it. Although that would need to be out by June, because everybody does their Christmas crafting in June, July, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. <laughs> do we ha I mean, I've not been here that long, so do we, do we actually have Christmas? We have Christmas. Do we, do we have trees up and things like that? I always used to struggle with that, you know. Not in the office. Just in the studio. I used to struggle with that. You'd walk around the building in my previous place and you would have Christmas trees everywhere yeah, and in by the, the time middle Christmas of comes the and by the time Christmas comes back yeah, you go, you're kind of bored oh. <laughs> do they have one in reception as well do they have it in reception do they have one of good yeah the old place I did yeah <laughs> no it's too far it's too far it's a step too far okay so what I'm doing is I've I've glued my my heads onto my um honeysuckle now, of course, you can cut them out in white and then you can colour the leaves green and your heads whatever colour you want. Yeah. But they do come separately. So, you know, obviously that's the that's one way you can go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some shading on the ends. Just using, because with honeysuckle, if you look at them, they're a little bit darker towards the end. So I'm yeah. just going to sweep an ink pad over there. By the way, the honeysuckle is incredibly popular. If you want it by itself, uh, it's nearly limited stock. So 765588, if you want the honeysuckle by itself, for £16.99, pence, be very quick indeed. But the bundle, well, you're spending £16.99 for one set, but if you get the entire collection, the three collections, it's £19.99 today because it's your first flexible payment. Is that of two? Two flexibles, yeah. So... It's how you sort of do your budgeting, really, isn't it? But sometimes I just think $16.99 or $19.99. I know you've got another payment of $19.99, but I kind of think when you've got paid a month later, maybe you can afford that again. I don't know. Anyway, it's up to you, but you see, I just try and I, I just try and justify it to myself, Clay, and that's my... <laughs> that's what I do. I, just, I always justify my shopping. Well, you know, the conversation you have in my house. Well, it was in the sale. <laughs> okay, so um, this part... Is actually um, some of my design team used them as flowers, which I thought was really, really great. Um, but these actually are um, berries. Right. So I've added some faux pearls um, on here, but you could add little gems or mm. you know flat back pearls on there. Yeah. So um, you know you can add whatever you have in your stash. Now what I'm going for last night, I actually did a card. Um, which was like a window box and I used like a wood effect yes. um, kind of window box and I thought I'd do a variation on that and I'm going to be creating um, kind of like a metal planter. Mm. So I'm using my nested dies and I've just created, um, because this, I wanted it to be quite long, um, so I, it's just a rectangle but I'm just going to colour it up a little bit and make it look a little bit uh, metallic. Okay. And so I'm just going to be sweeping across some kind of Silvers and then I've got some. I want it to look a little bit aged. Yes. It's always nice, isn't it, when we sort of vintage things up? And yet we buy new things to make them look old. Strange that. Um, by the way, this is the most popular set um, of those uh, double stitched uh, nested dies. It's the DL set. I can see why, because that, that is quite unusual, isn't it, to get all the the, um, the different sizes in the DL. So, yeah, that's the most popular one. 740008 2299. And of course, if you put it in with your flexible your flexi pay basket today um it's 11.50 today put it in with that and split the cost two payments 11.50 but that's the most popular one at the moment and then what i'm doing is i'm just giving a little hint of rusty hinge yes make it look a bit like a metal planter that's my my thinking i'm liking it no, I had a disaster with metal planters one, one year. 
So basically, I'd seen it in a magazine, these metal planters, on the windowsill of a house, um, you know, with the lovely sort of green foliage in. So I thought, oh, I'll do that. So I went to this garden centre and I bought these metal planters. They weren't expensive. Um, put loads of green in, put them on my windowsills, and it, it looked amazing, it looked amazing. Until I realised that, you know, when the sun shone on those windows, it basically went through the metal and cooked the plants. <gasps> so I bought quite expensive, you know, those green sort of round shrubberies. I bought yeah. those. And then within about four days, they were dead because we had a day of like 36 degrees. And then the next day was hot and I hadn't watered them. So by Friday, I noticed they were turning a little bit brown. And there was no way back. I was like pouring the water and they were like, oh, you killed us. Literally cooked them in these metal <laughs> containers. No disaster sad day sad, sad day murder. for them for the foliage <laughs> in the bin oh no and also as well to make it worse because it was london so you had to um nail them down to the thingy otherwise they'd have gone um i had this builder guy come in and he actually put holes in the bottom of them into the windowsill so, so they were all stuck on it. So I'm trying to get this stuff out and to just get it all. It, the mess was everywhere because I couldn't get the things out to tip them out because they were attached to the windowsill. It was a disaster. And then I didn't know what else to put in because everything was going to cook. Yeah. Apart from desert plants. Can't remember what I did in the end. I think I might have just left them <laughs> just as decoration. <laughs> Fake plants. Oh, I'm a plant killer though. Can't, I can't do a cleaner. I've tried. I've tried house plants and everything. No. They just die in my care. <laughs> Not very good at plants. Okay, These are safe ones. These are definitely safe ones to use. I'm only snipping the bottom off a couple of these so I can get some variation in height. Yes. So I can get them a bit lower. Now this is another one of those where you get a reveal at the end so you, you're not completely sure what you're creating until the end. Once again, it's great fun to play, though, isn't it? It's like flower arranging. Oh, yeah. I've fancy gone on a flower arranging course. Mm. Yeah, I reckon it'd be great. Yeah, never have, but... Because it is a, an absolute skill, isn't it? And then I'm going to... pop some... foam tape across the back. And then that will sandwich it all together. Yes. And give you that lovely sort of 3D effect as well, that raised look. So what I've done is I, I use the Lincolns and I create yes. my sentiment and I popped it onto my planter and there is a very simple yeah but they don't all have to be all singing or dancing that. do they that's really and good and I'm hoping that gives an idea of like a metal planter yes it does yeah there yeah so that's something quite different that's bringing back tragic memories from my windowsill <laughs> From your plant murdering <laughs> days. Thanks for making me feel so sad <laughs> from my plant Sorry murdering about days. That. <laughs> no, that is lovely cleaner, isn't it? That's a really and you know it's as well, you haven't used that many dyes there and no. die cuts, but actually it looks like there's loads of them. It looks like they're bursting out of that card. Yeah, fabulous. Very good. I like versatility. I like uh, good value for money. Yeah, you me too. Me too. That. That's definitely at the heart yeah. of everything that I do. Yeah. When I'm designing, I'm thinking, right, how can somebody use, use this? These. And I'm, I'm, I try and think and try and incorporate that into the design. Yeah. So to go from, because it's the same kit, isn't it? So that's to go right. from yeah. that to that, yeah. I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Really good versatility. Yeah, I did a, a, a honeysuckle um, wreath in one of the um, shows last night. Yeah. Um, Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay. okay. Uh, well, your one day special is 
a £12 saving today if you are buying the three collections of flowers. And you can see how those flowers all work well together. You can see how you need them all. So 782344 is your item number. 1999 today and 1999 in a month's time if you'd like to get hold of those. Individually though, the honeysuckle is the one that has caught your attention. It is now limited stock. So if you're wanting to get hold of that, be very quick indeed before it disappears. But that's been the most popular one by itself. But the majority of you are just going for it because you're thinking, what's well, 19 99 today instead of 16.99 for one? May as well go for the two payments. The alphabet as well, still busy. Uh, 608407, your item number there, 14.99. In the Freedom Club, 13.49. So an extra little saving there for you. And of course, free delivery, another extra little saving. Uh, we also have the lowercase for you as well. Here are the details. It is uh, 292219, your item number there. In the Freedom, going down again, 1259 and no postage. And also numbers as well. Let's give you those. 088510, 1199, 1079 in the club there so do have a look on the website won't you hochanda.com you can also pick up the phone give us a call as well 01733 60 2000 i didn't realize when i first started working there i saw a load of people upstairs and i thought what do they all do what do they all do they're in the call center it's great how, isn't it yeah how lovely to have the call center up there it's fabulous and if you want to buy something you can just nip upstairs well you can't clearly because you don't work here but we can <laughs> <laughs> Not suggesting you just nip upstairs. Hello, anybody <laughs> up there in the bedroom? I'd like to buy something. <laughs> that would be weird. Sorry, I can only apologise. I need more sugar. I'm going to eat that cream egg. I've just said, I've just seen, I've just seen on, on Instagram something, put, somebody put up a thing, Claire, of this, this cream, we were saying, what, with this cream egg and the sugar in the cream egg. But you said, yeah, because when you taste the middle of it, it is like sugar paste, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But I bought, I got, actually brought a cream egg with me this morning from the fridge. There was one in the fridge. And I thought, oh, I'll have that. I'm going to be put off now. Anyway, let's get back to flowers. Do you think you need a sugar rush? Don't <laughs> Thanks, Glenna. What are you saying? <laughs> well, you're quite, a, you're like quite an energetic person. Go on, finish off, Glenna. No, that's what I mean. You're quite energetic, aren't you? I am. I wish I'd have a bit. I am quite energetic. So what I um what I'm doing with this card is um <laughs> I was spending on innocence. Um, right, go so on. what I've done is um this one isn't wholly planned. This is kind of how I would create a card at home. Yeah. So um, what I wanted to do was put some kind of display inside my card and put an aperture in the front. So I thought it'd be quite nice when you flip it open. Yeah. Um, but I've not really planned out how the display is going to be. So I thought, you know, we'll, we'll kind of create it on the hop. Um, so I've got everything cut out in gold shades. So we've got mirror and satin and glitter. Um, so I kind of know they'll all go together. Mm. Um, so let's play basically so to shape my roses i literally just use something quite small and cylindrical whatever i've got to hand really and just bend the petals over that's that's all i do um it's amazing isn't it i always find this incredible that from a piece of paper you cut out a flower, you just bend it a bit, and then it just turns into a whole new thing. So I'm starting from the front again. So I've got my um, brad in there in my stamen, and then I've got a couple of the small um, flower, uh, roses, and then I've got a couple of the bigger ones. So we'll stack them up for a bit of a layered look. Um, and then I want some of my uh, buds. So I'll pop a couple of those on. But I'm kind of thinking that I want it to be, you know, before we were kind of bunching them up and they were all in the same direction. Yes. I kind of want this to be kind of a spray. So I'll try and do it kind of in two directions. So mm. they kind of come out almost um, in a diagonal fashion. So I'll add some of these bits on and we'll pop on some leaves. Now I wouldn't mind it if my leaf down here was a bit longer. Mm. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just close that up for a second. And I've got somewhere here. 
What's nice about this one as well, this card, um, once again, when you've got flowers, do think outside the box. Don't just think flowers have to be greens and colours. Yeah. Because here, with these gold, it's a real celebration card. I mean, you could do a lovely golden wedding anniversary card, couldn't you? Or just a lovely, you know, Mother's Day cards and things like that. So they don't have to be coloured flowers. They can be just gold or silver. Or yeah. white. I've yeah. actually got a silver one, a silver um, yeah. congratulations card um, yeah. for another show. So what I'm doing here is I want to extend my leaf, and um, I've added way too much glue on that. Um, but I'm not using a brad because mm. it's not going to be visible. It's going to be head behind. Yeah. But I'm just using that to extend my leaf. Um, okay. So I'll go back to building. Okay, and then when I pop that one on, because that's a short one, mm. I don't know if you can see, that's actually behind the petals, so you can't actually see where I've glued that on. Yes. But it's longer now. Because I want one edge to be longer, so I'm going to add in some of my gypsophilia. Now that, what, well, baby's breath, uh, whatever you, you yes. call it. Yes. But one is like a, it's a smaller one, and one's a longer one. So where I've got my longer, um, rose leaf. I want to put my longer, bigger gypsophilia. So that's merging in quite nicely. So none of this is planned. I'm just, you just mm. pop it on, dial in your design as my dad would say, yeah. and then um, see how you go. All right. So I've got a couple of glittery ferns here. So once again, we can now move them, can't we? What I'll do is I'll partially open it, mm. like you say, and then, and then I can have a look at it. I can play, move them around, see how I want them to be. Okay, I think that's gonna fit okay. I think it needs a bit more width. It's a bit straight up and down. So once you're happy with it, yeah. just fully pinch it and then that's it, it's done. Um, I'll add a glue dot on. So all of those elements are just now held with yes. one with one brad. Exactly. By the way, the honeysuckle, we've been saying all the way through the show that it is uh, nearly limited, then it was limited. Well, now, actually, technically, every single one is allocated. So every honeysuckle is in a basket at the moment. If they all check out, it will be sold out. So you can't actually get your hands on it at the moment anyway because it's in those baskets until people check out. So it's only available in the one-day special, of course, which uh, is all three combined, but it's only 19.99 today if you choose to use the flexible payment option and go for all three there. So that's that's 782244, your item number to get the honeysuckle and the other two collections in your one day special. Okay, so using one of the really small little nested uh, dies, I've made myself a little sentiment holder. And I think I'll pop, just pop that on the front of the card. And then on the back. Maybe love. There, and there's a different way of using your using your brad to make a spray this time. Fabulous. I mean that's just glorious, isn't it? So then when they open up the card it's on the inside. But yeah. so in this situation I would probably write my message on the back. Yes. But that is lovely because I, I think somebody would potentially put that into a frame actually. Um, and uh, and keep that forever. Perfect. So they're quite Wanted to show you some different different styles. Well, you certainly let, let's let's just put the three next to each other again, because this is all from your one day special. So if you have a look at what you can do with those dies, it is very different because you've got your planter, you've got your wreath, and then your lovely kind of celebration card there as well. All from the same collection of dies. I think that is versatility. 
for you there. So 782344 if you want to get the one day special. And uh, over half of that stock has now gone on there. Here are all three die sets for you. And it's 1999, your first of two interest free flexible payments if you would like to get hold of that today. And of course, that's the only way you can get the uh, the honeysuckle today as well now because the, the rest of them sell um, individually in baskets. Um, but here are details as well for the stand die. Why make just a plain stand for the back of a card? Why, might, why not make it as pretty as you can? Well, with these, you certainly can. 168851, but 70% of that stock has gone. And those are £19.99. pence. But it has been a lovely hour. We're coming towards the end now. Um, let's just show you some more samples. I mean, I think we've given you a great idea of the versatility there, haven't we, with these dies? But such a clever idea. Thank you. It is such a clever idea. I mean, it's a simple one. <laughs> but yeah, but sometimes simple things we don't. You, you, they're sort of staring you in the face, but you don't know until you make them. And it's a, it's really good. And I've I've loved seeing just how you how different they are. The fact yeah. you can do the wreaths or just use them as flowers. Perfect sizings, as we've said. Lovely foliage to go with it. Once again, this is my favourite. I think that is just... Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and that's with um, a foam, you were saying. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's just beautiful. And then, a, oops, sorry, a simple little card. Like that one. Yeah, and then this. It's the foliage, isn't it? Because as we were yeah. saying, when you get a bunch of flowers, you've got to have the greenery to really kind of set off the flowers. So Yeah, a lot of people feel like a card isn't finished until it's got a flower on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need that, don't you? There you are. And of course, with the alphabets on the show, you could write anti if you wanted. Or, of course, with love. You see, look at that. That is so nice. All you need is a little tiny embellishment in the corner. Lovely. And then this one as well is that your cat yeah is it your cat yeah ah what is your cat called lily says at the top oh of course <laughs> idiot me i mean whenever i'm trying to photograph my craft project she's, she's always photobombing she's terrible well she I, I can see why she loves the camera she's yeah, she quite does. fabulous isn't she <laughs> Lovely. Well, look, that's what you could be making if you get your one-day special today. And these are all the sets there. Uh, that is 782344. Four. Only 19.99 today, your first of two interest-free flexible payments there for all the three. As we said, the honeysuckle at the moment has gone. Uh, but nearly 60% of your one-day special has gone. I reckon when we do our next show, which is going to be at 1 o'clock today, yeah. Yeah, that's right. um, you might be sort of kind of getting towards the 80%. You might sell out by the end of the day. That would be lovely. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? That would. Come on, let's make it happen. Uh, OK, if you would like to get hold of anything, you can go to the website, hochanda.com. You can pick up the phone and give us a call. Do make sure you check out your baskets, though, because you know what they say, it's never yours until you check out that basket. I'm going to go upstairs in a minute and see, see if all the phone lines are ringing when I get up there. It'll be quite <laughs> a good one to everybody who's on the phone. Yes, yes, now we've finished the show. That's what happens. That's why you should always try and buy when you can, because there's always a rush on at the end. Yeah. Because everybody's like, oh, I've see, stopped seeing the demos now. But take advantage of that flexible payment, get your one-day special, and then come back for some different demonstrations at 1 o'clock. Yes. Yeah, fabulous. It's going to be fun. But Janice is here now for the next hour, so have a lovely time with her. Bye. 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 And she's going to be doing some encaustic art. After that, it's the craft treats, but then it's cardio as well later on. So all that still to come on Hochanda. Hello, my name is Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanga. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Be prepared to be amazed for this hour everyone it's really great to have your company um, I can't speak at the start of the show because I'm just watching what Shona is doing with wax and a hot plate it really is incredible the art that you can build up and create once you know how to do it I think that never leaves you and then all you need is your imagination and inspiration for putting forward and making and creating some amazing abstract designs but also some wonderful scenery as well uh, this is a great show lined up for you we've got lots of demonstrations lots of explanations but if you do want to pop into your basket the encaustic art compact hot plate right now those are your details on the screen and of course joining us is shona how are you shona yeah, just fiddling away here i don't actually um, ever use the hot plate so this is completely quite new to me uh, it makes always say to me, oh, have a little shot, have a little shot. I says, I'll do it live, I says, and see what happens. So, um, <laughs> well, sometimes that's what yeah. it is with this kind of art. Can we just yeah. explain to people what encaustic art is? It's using heat and wax. It means, encaustic means um, to uh, burn in. So you're actually using the heat and um, the wax. So here I'm using the hot plate, and it's a little iron that's underneath heating up the hot plate. And uh, I'm just sort of making it like, that. you know little happy smiley face you know it's like nice just to be but the good thing about the encaustic is it because it's wax you can change it so you can actually just start using the tissue here and I'm just going to dab away some of the um, the color and it's really good if you're using like see you've got die cutting machines and you just want backgrounds it's really nice just to sort of get a nice background effect and then actually put it through your die cutting machines and use it um, for you know backgrounds and stuff like that I'm just looking at what you're making there and it, it looks like a landscape now it looks like mountains and with your hot plate and with your iron and we do have a starter kit available for you if you do put something down and you're not keen on it you can yeah, just quite easily change it you see how it. you've got depth there that's the thing that we, we wax that you get and that's why people succeed because you just take the eye into the middle of the picture there and suddenly you've like you're going to do like a vortex ah, you know yeah. Um, and the beauty is that every time you touch it, you're going to change it. So you can use the blocks in any way, you know, just sort of a... But it's not just for abstract no, art. No, no. You've made and created some beautiful yeah. this landscapes. Is me just, this is me just playing. Mate would say, why are you using that colour? Sure. That's because <laughs> I'm just going to make it, it look more even like further doing it in the vortex there. Yeah. Uh, but this is something that you and Mike will be introduced to Mike in a moment's time. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, 34 years. Oh, I know. It's, uh, didn't it don't look that old, do I? <laughs> Not at all. You must have started when you are at least, oh, I don't know, six months. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, yeah, just adding, you know, like just play with it and see what happens. It's not, what I say about it is, what I find is it's not about the end result, it's just enjoying the process, yes. which is really good, because you think, oh, how do you do that? I've never you know as I say I'm just totally practicing at the moment and enjoying the, the play in the CEO but the beauty is that you can just change it you can get back to um, the, you know like a, 
a plain bit of card there. And with the techniques that you're going to show us throughout the show and yeah. the mic as well, uh, once you learn, it's almost like a template, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can start building creative. We're just looking at some of the landscape mm. scenes here. I mean, that really is extraordinary, but it doesn't take you long no, to put together. That's it. And so you can paint like a little landscape quite easy. You know, you just sort of start away and using the tissue technique, you know, tissue, just sort of you can dab. So you don't always need to be um, using like the iron for you get your landscapes and you can just sort of keep putting it up and getting like tree effects here isn't that and amazing just sort of and that's just use the wax remember underneath we've got the iron uh it's, it's a special encaustic art iron that we're using not the iron that you use to iron your clothing at no. home but it's giving that plate the heat the plate is available the details are on the screen and then just using, have you got just a bit, bit of tissue in your hand? Yeah, just a bit of tissue yeah. I'm using at the moment. I mean, there's all different types of tools. We do sponges and different things. But I'm just sort of just, you know, showing you little different ideas that, you're, um, that you can do here. And even like when you're doing the little flowers, you know, just sort of like little tiny spots, little, um, you know, snowdrops and daffodils at the moment, isn't it? That's everywhere. So you can just go on and on with the one bit of uh, card, you know. Um, and again, you can just put it to the side here so uh, I'm just going to put some of the green here and make a so if you just got this tissue you can just sort of like do a tree quite easy that is amazing it really is and again so once like you get this technique you can use this for other projects as well yeah and I mean the good thing about encaustic is a lot of people who have never done it before think well what's the very basics you know what do I need to get started so I'm just going to leave that like that for now and I'm going to move this out the road Oh, and can we have a look at just the iron itself? Yeah, that's what I'm just creative. going to move this. Just get a little wipe here. Just see, it's the iron that's underneath there. Oh, can you right. see that? That heats it up. And we're going to use that iron yeah. now in this next demonstration. Yeah, so I've got the little iron here like this. Now what I'm going to do is move that out the road. When you start with the iron, I had a little shot um, yesterday before I left. Um, and Mike's been filming a lot recently. And so his, he was using it. And when I started working, I thought... Oh, this isn't it. This isn't it working very good. And I realised his iron was a bit too low. Okay. So the temperature, so it wasn't. I wasn't getting the result I wanted. So that's why, if you use the number when you're new to it, if you use this number, um, bl a blue green colour, you'll see it melted on the iron here. Yeah. And you should see how it just see how it's just slowly trickling down yes. the iron. Yeah. If it runs down, it's too hot, and if it okay. hardly moves, it's too cold. So would you say that is? Yeah, that's just about right. Just about right. Yeah. It could be even a tad hotter but that's enough that's okay. fine yeah so <clears throat> i'm just going to stick with one color at the beginning and see how i'm putting a whole band right down the bottom because yep. when you start i know what it's like you go like this and you've got a few wee dots up here you know you don't put a whole band so fill the whole iron with wax and because it's got to cover the whole bit of card start here like this this is going to be my white sky just put the iron down like this and then just smooth the iron across and back like that working your way down at the bottom. So that's just putting it down. You're not really trying to paint a picture as such, but you see yeah. how by moving it back and forth, you get that um, undulating um, hills effect. You put that iron down and lift it, if you never make contact, you'll get suction. Now right. there's very little wax there, so okay. the suction I'm getting is a bit, you know, like, not very much. So again, here there'll not be very much either. So when folks start, this is what happens. And they keep putting the iron down like this and wonder why it's not quite working. And they think, oh, it's, it's a bit, you know, they've got this mark all the time. There isn't much foliage effect here. Yeah. And it's really because there isn't enough wax. Right. And you don't um, use the edge of the iron for that part of the, okay. the project, yeah? So I'm just going to put a little bit more of the same colour on. See how I'm putting it in the middle? Yeah. And I've got a little big dollop on there, yeah? So I'm going to lift the card this time, and I'm going to flex into the card, so it's the middle bit of the iron that's touching here. It's not the edge. Yeah, so see, it's the middle part of the iron that's been touching that. And because I've got more wax, you're getting that lovely, um, corally, grassy effect. I just find it fascinating that all you've <coughs> done is taken the card to the iron, yet yeah. now that could be an underwater scene, a hillside scene, Putting the grass with the grass in. Yeah. in the fauna. Taking the eye further into the picture. And again, <coughs> that's where you're getting perspective. People who've never painted before, one of the things that puts them off is they don't know how to shade and they don't yes. know how to get perspective. The iron does that shading for you <laughs> and it also gives you perspective as well. And again, if you just put that 
point of the iron for the little details like the birds. I don't have my glasses on, so it might not be oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Love that. And then again, when you're doing the little flowers, at this size of card, you only need tiny little dots here and there, and that just takes the iron and make it think that the bigger the dot at the foreground and it gets yeah. a bit further away. And that's your basic little picture. That is fascinating. And you can do this so when you get it home. You can watch these shows again and we'll be talking to Mike in a moment's time about where you can further your education uh, once you get started with your encaustic art. We do have that starter set available for you on the screen, £49.99, saving £10. And in that, you get your wax blocks, your assorted white card, your subscribing tool and your instructions. Now, you can find that and many more items on our website. Thanks for the moment, okay, Shona. We'll be back them. with you. Yeah. Um, if you see a red banner, that means it's available on FlexiBuy, so you can divide the cost into two, making it more affordable, especially if it's a new art too. And you're thinking, right, we're heading into the spring. I want to spring forward like everyone else is doing, so I want to do something a little bit different. Here's your chance now to stock up and start a brand new craft. If you're already crafting with your wax and your irons, then here's a chance to stock up as well. And here's a lovely mic. How Hello. are you? Hello, John. It's lovely to see you. Thank again. you for waiting I patiently in the twins. Oh, in, the twins. Yes. in the twins. <laughs> in the twinge. In the twinge. In the twilight. In the twilight. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, but it's. it's, it's in the twins. Hopeless. <laughs> Ridiculous. Give me someone, please. <laughs> right, Mike. Starter set. Yes. So let's talk, let's okay, talk about the starter, starter set. set. Um, for anyone that's new to this... <laughs> terrible, sorry. Oh, yeah. For anyone that's new to this craft, why would they want to go for the starter kit? Starter set's got everything you need. Okay. It's got the iron, it's got cards, it's got colours, all the colours you can mix together. It's got a scribing tool and it's got information, just enough to get you started. You don't need loads of information, you just... As Sean has already shown you, basically, once you get the iron set and warm enough to melt the wax, splodge some onto a card and start messing around with it. Make sure you use enough wax. Now, you get the full instructions, of course, with the kit. Yep. But if somebody wanted to further their education, is there tutorials online that they can go to? We've got, uh, yeah. I'm going to show you today, actually, that we've got um, the basics book and DVD. We'll look at that in a moment. Uh, and I used that as a basis for an online course. Okay. So I started with a lady in the Netherlands, and she translates them into Dutch. And Encaustic is in about 30 countries around the world. It's not just here in the UK. Wow. And that was my mission, really, was to get it around the world. And now we're starting to translate these online courses. Uh, they're at a place called EncausticHouse.com. Uh, and we're starting to translate them into different languages. So hopefully, I think we're going to get them to Swedish soon. Wow. Yeah. Well, so that's, I mean, isn't well. that great to be part of a community? Because it is a community. Well, the, the thing is, DVDs are on the way out. Um, unfortunately, they've had their day. Um, and online is where everyone's looking. We're all screenagers. Yes. We're stuck in there now. I like that, so, screenagers. So we might Very as well um, enjoy that. And the, the beauty of learning online is that you can go over and over video. You can slow it down, speed it up. It's, it's just such a good way to learn. It certainly is. And of course, the best way to learn is to get that starter set because you've got Indeed. everything you need. You've got the iron, which has got the UK plug on it. You've got your wax. You've got all those different colours. You can mix your waxes up, can't 16 you? 16 colours. Yeah, you can mix yes. any of them. If you add, Basically, if you add white, you make a softer, more pastel colour. Yes. And it becomes opaque, so you can't see through it. And if you add clear, then depending on what colour you use, so long as it hasn't got white in, it weakens it. Oh. And so it makes it more transparent. Yes. And that's great for well, when you're stamping. I think Sean's going to show you that in a minute. Yeah, you can use, if you've got stamps at home, you can use stamps, not with the hot wax, but just stamp your regular inks. You can use it with the hot and wax And then, of well. course, you've got the opportunity to build up those backgrounds, to build up the scene around that particular style of picture. If you do want to go for your starter set, it's two payments of £25, and that's available on FlexiBuy. Let's show you some samples that we've got here with the use of stamps. Um, we have some beautiful stamps actually on the cardio show previously but it doesn't matter what stamp sets you've got they do work perfectly well the cardio ones were uh, like these are our own stamps um, but they're similar because they're silhouette stamps yes. and so what we're doing is we're blocking the the appearance of the color the color's still there but black absorbs light yes whereas the white reflects light so where there's white behind you see the color and where there's black behind you don't but the color's still there yeah and so yeah silhouette stamps fantastic for this um, 
I mean, that one is gorgeous. Look at the stag there. I mean, that is uh, a scene. It could be from the Scottish Highlands. You've got that wonderful winter scene as well. Uh, the Christmas style scene. Again, building up that lovely, beautiful sunset. And then that nature with the bunny rabbits. Isn't that lovely? They're actually so easy to do yes. as well. You stamp on, let the stamps dry. Just put some wax over and watch what the environment does for the stamps. Yeah. I like it. It's very organic, isn't it? Yeah. And it kind of develops as you, the, more, the more you use the waxes, the more you use the iron, the more that image develops. And if you're not happy with it, you can just take the iron over it and start again. Exactly. And all those effects come just by lifting. Yeah. So it's, it is really it good is. that way. Yeah. Uh, if you do want to get hold of the starter set, it's a great, great deal. 49.99.119.604. Right. Let's talk about the hot plate. Okay. This was something that Shona was using at the start of the show, and you're a huge fan of this, aren't you? I love the hot plate, yeah. We're just, I'm just making a hot plate course, actually, uh, which won't be out until September. But it's such a great tool to use. This hot plate has got anodized aluminium on the top. That's what this stuff is. And underneath, there's a slot here. And in this slot, you just slide the iron in here, right the way up. And that little iron, which is about the size of my hand, powers the whole of this hot plate. So you just slide it in here, there's some little uh, nuts to hold it in place. And that's the yeah. iron that you can buy separately or you can buy in the starter you've set. We're not talking it, yeah. about a regular craft no. iron, no, are no, we? No, no, no. Just uh, the iron, you've already got the iron. I'm assuming yes. that you've got the starter set because yes. that's where to start. Yeah. And then you've got that iron so you can slide it in here and suddenly you've got a big space. And I'll oh. show you a bit later on what you can, well, I think we saw at the beginning, should yes. be using that. Yeah, we it? did. Uh, if you fantastic do want tool. to go for the hot plate, it really is a fantastic tool. If you're a Freedom member, it's £77.39. We do have the iron at the bottom of the screen if you want to get hold of that at 34 99 And it's also available on Flexi. So with your oh. hot plate, if you want to add the iron, if you're not going for the starter kit, then this will give you the opportunity to put both into your Flexi buy. But if you are going for the starter kit, of course, available on Flexi with your hot plate. 024369. And we've got some more demonstrations coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And it's one of those things you buy it once, you've got it forever. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, right. If you want some ideas of what to do when you get your starter set home or when you get your hot plate, we have got a book and a DVD for you. Uh, it's an incredible price on this, Mike, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've uh, been because we're doing the online courses now, I've got stock of these, and DVDs are they're still a great way to learn. Yes. But um, you know, I, I just want to give people the opportunity to succeed quickly. Yes. And then when these are gone, I probably won't make more DVDs. Um, we'll just go for the online stuff then. Yeah. But the book, I'll keep going. Yeah, let's have a look at the book. I'll just take this. I'll, I'll leave it there and just open up the pages. Uh, oh, look, nice picture of you. Oh, that's uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not, isn't it nice though to, to, to have some to it. Yeah, always <laughs> is uh, to have some information about you and about the history of Incorset as well. What I did was I, I made the DVDs first, and there's four and a half hours on that twin DVD set, and then I dropped out 600 plus images from that and put them into step by step, so it's very easy for people to oh, understand in a photographic yes. way. So if you like a reference that's printed that r relates totally to the DVD. This is the set. I like this because, again, you've got the pictures down there to see all the different effects. And like you say, when you see it, when you go through it, when you just sit down and absorb that information, the techniques, then you just start to play. And that's where the beauty comes exactly. in. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you do want to get hold of this fabulous deal for the book and the DVD, £14.98. pence. You're saving £12. But if you are going for that starter set, I think this is a great addition because you've got the information there. You've got it as a reference. You can learn the right way. So then you can proceed with your own ideas, making sure that you've got all of those techniques and method at hand. 876-643 is your item number if you want to go for both the book and the DVD. Perfect. Now, if you want to get hold of, let me pop that there, some more wax. We've also got that available for you. Here it is, $9.99. It's available on a pick and mix because we've got uh, various colours um, available to you. We've got the white, we've got the clear, we've got the bright red, we've got the mid-yellow, uh, the cyan blue in there, the neon pink, uh, leaf green, uh, just green, red violet, olive green, pastel blue, uh, blue, yellow brown, rust brown. Oh my goodness, we've got lots, haven't we? We've got grey, 
Uh, oh, we've got plenty for you to choose from. It's a pick and mix, any eight for $9.99, which is an incredible deal. If you do want some of the sets of blocks, we also have those. You've got 16 blocks in a set. And there you go. So £16.99, saving £3. This one is your basics. Then you've got the enhancing. And then the enrichment as well. £16.99 for 16 blocks. That is excellent value for money. It really is. 294079. So a great way of stocking up ready to get your kits home or of course just restocking because you're running out right Shona what are we going yeah. to have a look at well you were talking about the stamps earlier so I had done this one um using one of the cardio stamps oh yes she's yes. next year's and so I yes, said, oh, can, I, right. can I borrow your stamp just to try it to see because people like to put a little bit of detail into the picture um and if I put it up that way then you'll probably see it better there you um, go, like that. Take my hands away. I'm never quite sure if I'm upside down or not. So <laughs> it just gives at the um, eye something else in the picture. Yeah. Because people think, oh, you know, like I can't draw, I can, I can put in a little bit of detail. Well, stamping's great for that. Okay. And so a silhouette stamp is ideal. That's why this, all the stamps that we sell are all silhouette stamps. Yeah. So I'll show you using money. Um, so that was um, using the, the cardio one. And what I've done with that is I actually put a little bit of wax around the top of the the bit yeah. as well so like after it was stamped and stuff um i just got some of the the brown wax just to um add a little bit of texture on top which was a bit little bit different um but i'll show you it i'll show you it using um one of the other ones now okay so so i'm just going to get my um stamp so the stamp we use regular ink is there or is there a special ink to use um you don't want a, a permanent ink pad you want a dye pad okay so you don't want a pigment ink you want a um uh, water based one right yeah okay right what am I going to do I'm going to actually do a I was going to, I was going to do chickens but for, now for, we've had um, a question come yeah. in or oh, a couple of questions from Deborah so thank you for joining us this morning uh, Deborah loves in course oh good hi Deborah um, she's heard us talk about die cutting machines okay she wants to know does the wax crack if you run it through with your embossing folders or your dies you know once you've made yeah. a background um, or maybe cut the shapes first before putting the wax on. No, if you put a um, see the the polypropylene paper ah, that you yes. get, yep. put that um, over put the your, top. Yeah, put your picture into your polypropylene bag. Yes, and then put it into the. Um, there's a die cut and things there actually. Oh yeah, just um, hang on a sec. I'll just bring these up to show you. These yeah. have been die cut after backgrounds have been made, um, so you can see there die cut out of that particular piece of paper but no cracking of the wax no because we've just used some yeah. packaging to so place you, you just put it in there and then you put it through your machine so the actual die die dies don't get full of wax either they come out clean because you put it in there yeah and that yeah. protects it it's yeah. a good idea good idea uh, you can see here how perfect these are uh, no cracking whatsoever and they've come out uh, marvelous what a good idea now we've got a second question for you. Yeah. Uh, would you be able to? Ah, uh, would you be able to cut on an electric blade system? So I'm thinking maybe Silhouette Cameo or the Cricut. No, no. I, I know a customer had tried okay. the Cricut and he tried it and he says it didn't work. It didn't go through the wax. So because I've never tried it myself, I don't know. Now I wonder. It's, the card's too thick. Um, I'm just wondering because the cricket comes with uh, lots of different blades now. Yeah, so I think there it's might, changed. There yeah. might be a blade that works nowadays. Now. There might be. Yeah, mm. I think he got it a long time ago, and as he said, I think he was doing dolphins actually, and yeah. uh, it was not working for him. So, so we, we were just wondering if the the wax would come off at all as it goes through the mechanism. So, um, do it at your own yeah. risk. Well, the card, this is 300 gram card. Yeah. So it depends on what you, you know, the, give it a go. The, the yeah, that's what we always see experiment. Or it? maybe give give Cricket a call and they would give you some send information them a, and send advice. Send a sample and ask yeah. them. Yeah. Yes. Let them try it before you buy the machine. Because if you're wanting to use it for that and it doesn't work, yes. it's got to be a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah. So when you're um, using stamps, you can just let it dry on its own. Um, and this is a silhouette, a mermaid here. But I'm just going to speed the process okay. up. Okay. Um, and so I'm just taking the excess ink off. So there'll be a little bit of colour comes away, so it's not just as black. Okay. Um, when you're using um, like mermaids and anything that's in the water, it's really, really easy because you're just wanting a watery effect. You're not trying to do a 
background sky yes. and horizon and stuff. I love it when you do this. Yeah, so when you're using stamps, any stamps, um, always make sure that you use a bit more clear wax because okay. you want the colours to be more translucent. So if you imagine that you've got a cup of tea yes. and you put a bit of water in, it will yeah. get weaker and you'll still see the bottom. Um. But as soon as you put milk in, you can't see the bottom. Got you. So that's what white wax acts like milk. It just makes right. everything a little bit... So stick to yeah, making sure that you use um, some clear wax. Okay. Yeah. When you're using stamps, this is. And you do get the clear wax, by the way, in the stock. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. And now Set. I'm just going to put in, like, some colours here for my water so I've got some blue green in there and some of the um, sort of, uh, nice blue color and the good thing about this is that you can just wash out it and if you've got too much on and you think oh I can't really see it very well that's fine because remember that you can just keep going over it until you get the look that you want Okay. And because of the shaking effect as well, you can it can look like it's the current in the water. Yes. So there's there's no mistakes. Or you under know. ice. Yeah. She might yeah. be swimming underneath the oh uh, yeah the ice caps. Oh well, look at that's that. That's her. She's maybe going into her little no, cave into a now. Cave. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't think I'd be like to be under ice. Oh, that would freak me out, I think. Oh, that, I, oh yeah. Yeah, some Please people, go, oh, some some people, people do, like actually. caving, don't they? Yeah. Things like that. I just think, whoa, no. No, I wouldn't do that. Makes it like to go into space, so you're gone on your own then, I see, because the, <laughs> the thought of being in something that I can't open the door and breathe is just, nah, no for me. So, so like, it's just like making all that coral yeah, all the way around about that. it. And that's the beauty of the, the, um, the encaustic, you know, you can change it. If you don't like it, you can go back into it. And again, just sort of making the, like, the w little wiggly bits here, that can be like the, you know, the seaweed coming in and just, and it's gone near the top of that, but it doesn't matter. That's Again, incredible. using some of the little bit of, you know, little um, red dots here. And that's just sort of got to be like little sea anemones, little sea urchins and things. That really is amazing. What depth that has. Not only depth <coughs> underwater, but also you can see as if there's a light shining just around yeah. the corner. And that's why, that's what I'm saying about the shading as well with wax. Yeah. With now I'm just going to use a bit of um, silver here and I'm just going to actually rub out the whole thing a little bit. So and see, I'm just going to put a layer on top but without oh, melting okay. it. Can you just see, you might not see yeah. it so good on the telly. Um, I don't know. Oh, I, I can think. see that. Yeah, and now I'm just going to polish it as well. But, and you'll see that when I polish it, the black will, the silhouette will come up even more. See how it's... Oh yeah. Yeah. So I've just done the silver bit for a change, just to add a little bit more, um, I don't know what you'd call it, sort of a no luminosity, but that idea with the... That is absolutely that? spectacular. Spectacular. Can, sort of a, yeah, I love it, that, yeah. A, yeah. What a difference. Yeah. And again, you know, you can... Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and again, just being able to get that light. Yeah. You know, almost as if you put light around the corner. It's and so <coughs> realistic. The good thing when you're um, going to be selling your artwork yes. or you're going to be um, sending it in the post is to put a coat of sealer on it. Okay. Because if you're in the post, it's getting a lot of um, rubbing around. Yeah. And so if you rub it around, it can the colour can come off. Okay. So um, you don't need it on all artwork, but only in the stuff that you've got to be sending really okay. through the post or it's going to be getting flicked through if you're selling them for charity. And then with that, you just actually... Um, you don't actually you just need a little bit of cloth here, make a little pad, and then just put on like you know, you don't need very much. No, that'll probably be enough actually because it's only a little bit of card, and then you just sort of you're going to spread it on like that, and then just dab it like this, and then that just stops it from getting. You used to put it on with a brush and realise that you get little lines oh, with okay. the brush, so you're better to do it like this, so it's like a little stipple effect. And then you just and then just let it dry. It depends on the and heat that of the room. It. Yeah, that protects it. You can't paint with wax on top of it after you put the sealer on. Yeah. Um, so make sure that you've polished it and you're finished with your artwork before Love you that. put the sealer on. Yeah. Uh, well, the details are on the screen now for the wax sealer. It's 150 Oops. mil, 9.99. One zero nine three eight seven is your item number. Isn't that amazing? I just yeah, find you, it. Yeah. Pick it up. Fascinating. Yeah. So we've just a, just a few passes of the iron, and that's no disrespect to you yeah, as an artist, know. but you see what you can start to create, and sometimes you'll create one thing, and then yeah. it turns into something else, something equally as spectacular. I love that, absolutely love that. Uh, detail for your starter 
set is on the screens at the moment. Thanks for that, Sharon. That yeah. really is amazing. Uh, 119604 is your item number for the starter set. But if you want some stamps, we've got some available for you, including the stamp mm. that Sharon has just used. This is your fantasy. 1199 that's where the mermaid came from. 490841. We've also got nature as an option for you. Lovely trees in there. Imagine that on a landscape. Uh, again, 11.99. Oh, you've got your holidays. You've got your Christmas in there. You've got your Easter, the summer. Something, something for all year round. 4.90841. And then the final one is the animals. Look at the frog. Oh, you've got two frogs. And you've got the butterflies as well and the birds. The hummingbird in there as well. And the horse that could be a unicorn. Uh, amazing. So those are your choices. 11.99. Right, it's great to have your company. We've got a starter kit available for you. Um, if you've been amazed by those images that Shona has created, uh, we've got Mike coming up in a moment's time. We've got some more demonstrations. So it might be now the chance to get this into your basket so you can check out and then relax and watch the rest of the show. We have got a starter set for you that includes the iron, the all-important iron. This isn't a regular craft iron, it's a special encaustic art iron, so you've got that included with the UK plug. You've also got that fantastic paper as well for placing your artwork onto. You've got your tool, so you can scribe into that if you want to, into the wax. And you've also got your starter guide, which tells you everything you need to know. And you've also got the most important part, the wax. You can see the colours that you've got available for you, including the clear and including the white as well. Uh, so that's going to be great for mixing. What a fabulous kit. Two payments of £25 if you want to go for this. Saving £10, 119604. I look at some of the samples around us that you can see. I mean, you've got that uh, landscape there, which is incredible. They could be waves. It could, yeah, it looks like New York. Again, you can be as abstract as you like using the tools that you're getting in the starter set or using the iron to build and create those different textures, those different patterns as well. Now, we're seeing some of the artwork on the smaller cards there, but we do have something which is quite a lot larger. So you can take your artwork from making your postcards into something like this. I mean, that is stunning, isn't it? And if you have a look at that, I don't know if we can get closer, actually, because from a distance, you think, OK, that's been painted, acrylic paints, watercolour paints. But the closer you get, it's been made with wax and the iron. That is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And again, something that you can create when you get your starter sets home. I could just look at I could look at this artwork just just for ages because you know you see so much in there that you don't first see. I think you're really going to enjoy this when you get it home. 119604 is your item number. That is for your starter set that you've got here. Remember that's got your UK plug on your iron. Now we do have some other items for you to 